Welcome back to a Windy City They Tan Watch, the channel where truth meets freedom, right here in the heart of Chicago. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay updated with our latest investigations, interviews, and insights. Your support fuels our fight for freedom and truth. So, let's dive into today's journey, armed with knowledge and the relentless spirit of the Windy City. Good morning, everybody. This is Windy City Thetan Watch. It is Sunday, May 5th, Cinco de Mayo, the incorrect Independence Day of Mexico. This is not Independence Day of Mexico. This is Bar Day of America to uh, exploit people who like to have party drinks. Uh, hopefully you all got through uh, Star Wars Day yesterday. Yesterday, I had a very enjoyable walk. I walked the entire length of Western Avenue. Western Avenue is the longest contiguous street in Chicago. Uh, we started in Evanston and uh, made it all the way down to uh, Blue Island. Howdy, Ellie. Howdy, Declare Dave. How are you today? Uh, getting over to the org a little bit early today. Uh, I think that we're going to be, we're going to have a large crowd. Um, my understanding is uh, George, uh, surrounded by Scientology, will be here. Um, Free Zenu Project will be here. I'm pretty sure Heli Gear is going to be here. Juanita is almost always here. Um, I think that we'll see some non streaming protesters as well, and some first time protesters. Howdy, Dorothy. Uh, we are on uh, Dearborn, walking, uh, right now I'm stopped to cross IW Wells or Congress Expressway. Uh, looks to be, uh, there's some fire engines over at the Chicago Library. I don't think the library is open right now, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, might be somebody on the street. Uh, yeah, it is. It looks to be uh, potentially an unhoused person on the street that's having some trouble. Howdy, Dee. Um, Saturday, Friday night. Friday night was a little bit, um, it wasn't Scientology, but uh, Solomon was in town. So I um, chose to kind of go meet up with him and we went up to the DePaul campus and we were at the, uh, the Palestinian encampment for the Gaza protests uh, in, in that space. They did, we, uh, and I was able to stream the whole movie. They had a great movie about um, some rock climbers in uh, Palestine and Israel and kind of the troubles that the Palestinians go through just to do normal daily lives. I thought it was very interesting, informative. So if you get a chance to look at that. Uh, I would say that, hey, that's not the normal content we do on the channel, but it was a great idea. <laughs> right now, we are, I'm going to turn the camera around because I just caught all of the Scientologists. <laughs> so, here we're seeing the Scientologists grabbing their cigarettes and heading over to the org. If you're just joining us, it's early on Sunday. The org opens at 9.30. Uh, the staff probably has to get there early to get everything ready. Um, I don't think that they have 7 a.m. muster calls. So. It's an overcast day. Uh, I think it's very low 50s right now. We might get up to just above 60. Thank you, Dee. Yeah, so he's an in interesting kid, and I love his spirit. Um, I, my understanding is he, he may have left school, and I would definitely encourage him to rejoin that. I think an education is valuable and, and helps you uh, get over a lot of barriers in life further down the road. 
Um, I don't want to really approach them too quickly, but we are following three Scientologists on their way to the org. And by the way, right, they came from, they're not coming from imprint. They're coming from over on State Street. So that is one of the other uh, housing units that they seem to be in. No understanding if that's um, a stipend with the church or if the church pays for it. That would be strange. Uh, that's not typical staff behavior or Scientology behavior with staffs. Okay, thanks, Jennifer. Good to hear. I'll be curious to see if the doors are open for them. Um, I can tell you the doors are not open, uh, wide open, but what I mean by that is unlocked uh, for them. It looks like, oh, it might be a um, student. So if somebody's packing a car down there. I was wondering if, uh, I thought I was out here early and I was like, whoa, I'm not gonna be the early uh, person out here today. Howdy, never in. Good morning, welcome to the channel. We are just now uh, arriving at the Church of Scientology, 650 South Clark in Printers Row. Uh, we have, you know, just by chance, as I was walking in, we caught up to uh, three members that were on their way to the org. So, tall black girl has keys. A uh, black haired girl has keys. Um, what I'm going to do this morning is start with some chalk. So, I'm going to put you guys on a pedestal. Um, I apologize. I might not see chat for a little bit. Um, but I'm going to see if we can get some artwork down before uh, they start showing up for work. Let's see if we can do this. And, oh, not that way. So hopefully you can still hear me. I think you'll still be able to hear me. Uh, every once in a while I'll come back and check on this. Uh, I'm putting my bag down uh, over here on the sidewalk. I'm gonna make sure you're, we're seeing the right, uh, the right one. Yeah, I think that you'll be able to see what I'm doing over here. So, uh, I am not a great chalk, chalk artist, but we're going to see what we can do here. So, Um, I'm using purple right now. I don't think that this is showing up great. Um, I might do an outline on it as well, but we'll see what we can do. You'll notice I'm staying beyond the clocking of the church. That church, uh, that clock is the property line of the cult of Scientology. Our first statement here is going to be that we're a cult. One of the uh, shorter uh, members just walked out uh, of the other door. Jessica, I just think that there's um, people in town uh, here, um, and that's kind of what, why we'll see a lot of people. 
there's a claim that there is a special event for Dianetics, but in reality, they always say there's a special event for Dianetics. So the, the free ticket that um, was found a couple of days ago, and I have one in my bag as well. I have lots of the, um, the Dianetics uh, tickets that they'll pass out to people that wander by. Um, that's just the daily free ticket, right? And, and Scientology will always say, you know, grand opening or renewed uh, invigoration in that space. So, uh, just make sure that people have an uh, opportunity to, to walk by here. So, I'm going to see if we can get, oh, this yellow shows up much better. So, that's nice. Um, one of the things, and because there'll be so many people here, I think I'll be able to follow body routers. Uh, sorry, I'm not paying attention to the chat. I just can't because of just the way that we're set up. But um, uh, my expectation is that we will see um, body routers today. It'll be a nicer day, but we'll have a lot of people out here today. So um, I should be able to wander uh, quite a bit in regards to what's going on here. Uh, and since I'm out kind of before traffic starts, I can be right in front of their door and not be uh, eliminating, um, uh, uh, not be obstructing passerbys. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm putting down here, Earth is a prison planet. Uh, I'm going to get a lot of quad work today. I'll go over and look at the chat in just a second. Absolutely, Ali. See what else we've got here. I over and out. Absolutely. <laughs> Always a good day to shut down the cult. Uh, I think that I'm going to get chalk all over me today. Uh, I'm going to bring you right back here, but let me look. You know, it's a cult, right? Why do you allow for child trafficking? So they're preparing um, to probably put speakers out in front of the um, the door right here. So I'm at the door that they most often let people in.
stop mocking your reactive mind. So I should go join the news stations. <laughs> How are you doing? Are you mocking it? Absolutely. Are you a child? No, I'm not a child. It's being video recorded, sir. Yes, it's being video recorded right there as well. Of course it is. Is there anything that's a hate crime in this? Are you going to subvert my First Amendment rights? It's not a church, it's a cult, let's be honest. <laughs> so the church doesn't like art. They believe in space fantasy. So we're prisoners of this planet. 76 trillion years ago, that's my bag, thank you. 76 trillion years ago, Xenu captured all of us and put us on this planet. And I'm going to re talk. Well, yep. And if you, thank you. If you could let them know the FAA controls airspace, not the Chicago police. Can I have your name and badge number, sir? 16979 Ramirez, thank you. Doing First Amendment activities. That's the what not. Are you still mocking your reactive mind or have you gone clear? Are you not going to react your active mind anymore? Your reactive mind? I'm not going to do that one, so that person will be punished. Correct. Yes, that's right. Because you guys like the petty assaults, don't you? Using the police resources, a tax free organization which pays no tax but uses all of the taxpayer resources. So, yep. to let you know, uh, I'm, that I've done nothing wrong? Correct. As long as you don't write anything hatred, correct. you start writing on their property. Correct. The chalk line, the, the clock line is right there. Yeah, even from that entrance where that person's standing? Yep, the clock line. That's what yes. I said, the clock yes. line. That's their private property. I understand that. You so, do great cop explaining. I appreciate that. So, as long as you're not writing anything hatred. And I shouldn't eat know, yellow snow, right? I shouldn't eat yellow snow. So, um, well, it's a bad idea to pick your nose in public. 
Are those other things that we shouldn't do? I'm just trying to figure out what other things that you're telling me that I shouldn't do, which I haven't done. I'm just letting you know. Right? I appreciate it. I'm just letting you know. I'm not saying. I'll see you later on the new Facebook ordinances. Because they'll safe, they'll safe point you later. They'll safe point you later. And by the way, it's still not a hate crime. What hate have you seen here? I don't like criminal activity. I don't like criminal behavior. I don't like human trafficking cults. Right. Do you like human trafficking cults? Do you think it's a good idea to be human trafficking? They're going to safe point you. Can you please make sure you've got your camera on? I, I need your body camera to be out when you go inside. You're out on a call. I, I know, I know. And I want the incident number. I'm going to want the incident number as well. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Well, folks, you have learned my name, and I will start using my name now. And I, I was never really afraid to be using my name. Um, you did notice that they did know that I had a drone up. Um, it is 100% legal to fly a drone here. I have a Part 107 license. Uh, I'm going to finish this. Yeah, I'm not positive about that. Now, I will say that I, I would have said that the other night somebody took a phone in there of one of the protesters, and I said, I'll come in, I'll accompany you in there with it. But I'm pretty sure that they can, uh, they don't have to let me in there. Now, again, the reason I asked for the body camera to be on is because I want to be able to, uh, hey, George, thank you so much. Uh, hope to see you out here soon. Um, They, you know, she talked about the hate crime uh, element. There is nothing hateful in what I've written here. I have written truthful elements. Uh, I can stand behind every single thing that I put on here. Uh, we have incredible amounts of evidence uh, in this space. Um, sorry, oh, going back to the drone. Um, I'm a part 107. I have to be far enough away from the airport. Oh, something else I didn't notice. Sorry, I'm gonna move you up again. Uh, we do have a police cruiser here. Um, the police, I know in LA, uh, and the FAA came down on them, LA tried to stop um, people from using drones in the city of LA, which is not legal. Now, the Chicago Park District won't allow you to use drones on their property. Now, you can overfly the Chicago Park District. You just have to be on public property that is not the Park District in order to do that, right? Um, the, uh, you have to stay a little bit away from airports. Uh, the FAA could issue um, temporary flight restrictions. Uh, and uh, in those situations, usually like if you go to a ball game, that's why you can't fly over a ball game. I can go to Soldier Field right now and I can overfly Soldier Field. But if there was a ball game going on and there would be a flight restriction uh, for the day, and that's usually an hour before the game until something like two hours after the game, um, I wouldn't be able to, uh, to do that as well. I do think that with the water tech, um, we are going to be able to see that come up fairly quickly. Uh, we did see that they were doxing, right, uh, on that process. Uh, I'm going to get our cult back out there. I'm going to go a little bit further. Not sure if you'll be able to see. Oh. Something else we're going to see here. Um, there is some maintenance going on over here that uh, the balding gentleman with the uh, gray suit, he is one of the custodial workers in the church.
Um, when he comes out, I'm going to ask for the incident number. And if, if one of you could definitely write it down and email me. Uh, and Ellie, if you can put the, uh, the email address up there. Uh, I might be out of your view here. Uh, we should start seeing more people show up soon. Did you have a good day at the cult? Are you still mocking your reactive mind? Skateboard guy just came in and pulled his coiffed hair over. Are you here to visit the cult today? Are you okay that women can't report sexual abuses against them from this cult? Here's our new cult member that just walked in with their temporary permit on their brand new dual motor Tesla. Thanks, Dave. And I, I am kind of watching it. Are you okay that women can't report abuses against them? just passes by and again, I'm typically pretty sensible. find a building I want to. Uh, my guess is with the number of people that we'll have here today, we won't see the blinds come up at all. Uh, when I did arrive, the blinds were down. Uh, just a reminder, as, as I was uh, coming to the org today, um, I was just chatting with uh, the channel and just so happens that uh, three members had walked, uh, had kind of crossed paths uh, with me. So I turned the camera around and we followed them over here to the org. Yeah, Solomon is not going to be out today. I think that he's traveling uh, today.
Thank you for that, Ellie. Just a reminder on memberships, um, I have no intention of ever delaying or withholding uh, videos from anybody. The only thing that memberships is, is it, it's a way to you know, just uh, more announce your support of the channel. Um, you get a few, the only benefits you really get are you, you show up in the uh, channel above the um, videos and every once in a while I give you some uh, emojis. And I always want to use the, uh, every time we get a flyer from one of their uh, people, I want us to make sure we slam that got them uh, emoji. One hundred percent. Sorry, let me head back up here. Thank you, Stefan. Yeah, I agree with that. Israel's a great person, um, and his education uh, just gives him some um, abilities to communicate that are far beyond me uh, in, in that space. So, howdy. Have a good day at the cult. Can you tell me anything good about this church? Any positive experiences? Any gains? Let's show them how well the uh, the moisture now is going to help us. So it'll be a little bit harder for them to uh, pull up this now since they've already moisturized it. The uh, custodian is walking out the far door. Right, yep. Anything else you need from us? Uh, just an incident number. All right. One, two, three. One, two, three. No, no. Oh, no, sorry. No, no, no. Sorry. Gotcha. Right. And what's our number? Number number number? Zero, four. Zero four seven nine two is the incident number. Thank yeah. you. I appreciate your work. Right. Thank you. Up. Right. Oh, looks like we got some door tech issues over here. Um, it's going to be crowded here today, so we're going to have a lot of members that are out here. So just you're going to get a lot of false calls. Now safe pointing the lieutenant or the sergeant. White shirt's gotta come. Gotta get our safe pointing in.
Water makes it work better. <laughs> If the church didn't force abortions, you'd know that you could have children and children would know that uh, that water works good on the chalk. Yep. I've already announced it to my chat, the name. Yep. Very, very well. Was that a threat? Okay. Can you show us anything spiritual about this church? Just to let you know, the answer was mute. So, we have First Amendment rights. I know that. Okay. Um, I don't think that this rises to the level of damage. Correct. Uh, there is no hate in anything that's going on here? That was my next point. Careful. Yep. What's your right? Yep. So that doesn't cross the threshold into hate. Right. And that I wouldn't talk, threaten families like that. Talk, right. That wasn't a threat. Okay, that wasn't a threat. So let's not try to insinuate and, and fabricate. The you don't think they fabricate? That's not a that's not a threat. That statement and interaction is not a threat. Excellent. That's what I'm speaking about and nothing else. The false arrest the camp near the other night? That wasn't a I threat. Wasn't here, I don't okay. know now. I know. I'm speaking to this right here. Careful, don't cross the threshold into hate speech. Understand. Okay, must maintain a passable uh, well, sidewalk. Fully understood. Um, and as I explained to people yesterday, one of the individuals that was out here yesterday, not you, right. but on video, was pushing the boundaries of what is um, acceptable as far as someone's personal space. I fully agree with that. So when you come within someone's personal space, people, they can feel threatened. Yep. They can defend themselves. I understand that. So, this one, I'm not saying you were involved in any way or have any knowledge of it. But I like that you're encouraging physical violence as an element. Well, no, I'm saying that if someone feels threatened, right. they have a legal justification to defend themselves. Correct. You do, as well as anybody Couldn't else. Couldn't I right now claim that I feel threatened? Couldn't I claim that and just strike you? Because now you're saying that my feelings are what matters. My no, feeling. No, no. They put it on tape. Okay. When someone feels threatened. Yep. You are in addition within their personal space. I understand that. That totality of circumstances. That makes sense. Can raise to a level where that person is legally allowed to defend themselves. That makes sense. Push the threat away. Correct. A perceived threat. Yep. Likewise, you have the same thing. Understood. Okay. I am advising. That I, is all. I appreciate I'm not it. Saying if yep. you've done any of this, I don't. I'm referring to someone. That I, was I, I saw the. I saw the video. I saw the video. There, they also have videos. Regardless. Yes, they do. <laughs> so I'm just trying to advise. I that, appreciate that. that. You're aware that people have personal space yep. and they're allowed to defend okay. that personal space if they feel threatened. Yep. I'm not saying that you have gone that way or have gone that way. And I'll say, if you watch any of my video, one thing I'll say is that I usually tell people I'm staying 20 feet behind people because I don't want to give them that impression that I'm stalking or anything of that Perfect. nature. So, again, right. sounds like and, we're all on the same yep. page and all good. M Makarski, Makarski to. 260. 260. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Appreciate the support. No. Thank you. Appreciate your time. Thanks for all the work. Yeah, I'll agree that you're right. This was he's talking about yesterday. And, you know, if you the, the early interaction, I kind of used a little bit of uh, I think a DOA always said, you know, don't eat yellow snow. It's like, you know, thank you for telling me to not do the things that I haven't been doing. Like the false claim that you made the other night against the woman? So the laws are for me, but not for thee, right? Okay. 
You as well? Yeah, again, it's a, it's a form of doxing. Uh, now I'll tell you that she's rather misinformed. <laughs> Uh, Bridge, are you talking about the uh, Makarski, the white shot, uh, the white shirt? Uh, th thanks, Wendy. I should, or th thanks, Ellie. I should have mentioned that. That one, I don't know if that is Brianna or not. Uh, and I have moved my uh, my bags a little bit over because every time the this sidewalk slopes towards the street, uh, as you can see here, right? Sidewalk slopes towards the street. Um, the uh, and the water that they're doing would have kind of gone into my bag. Uh, and by the way, I, I was very confident that they knew my name. Uh, I just didn't want to put it out there beforehand. So again, my name is Paul Erickson. Um, I'm by no means ashamed of that. Uh, and I have lived a life. <laughs> okay, thanks, Bridge. My hope is that most of you who have been on the channel for any period of time realize that you know, I, I'm not the guy that's in your face shouting, it's a cult. Um, I'm, I, I, I attempt not to get emotional. Now, I will tell you that you know, there were three police on the sidewalk and there was conversation going on. Uh, I never feel normal when I'm surrounded by cops. Uh, so, yeah, my heart rate does go up in those situations and I try to keep the calm. Um, on that process. Um, so uh, kind of just to review what happened is, right, she was definitely miffed that I was out here uh, chalking. And I will chalk again, I'll, I'll keep on chalking. Um, and it's funny that uh, the, the water uh, really does help this stuff stay in a lot longer. <laughs> they have to do uh, much more work in order to keep uh, uh, in order to get rid of the chalk in that situation. So um, here, uh, what I had was, right, we believe in space fantasy. Uh, over here was uh, cult uh, and that Earth is a prison planet. Um, when, the, when the police did come, by the way, I, was, I did not see them come up on, on scene. Um, I walked back towards the camera and I heard uh, somebody say it's on video and that's when I was, Oh, okay. Howdy officers. And, uh, she came out then, um, and addressed them saying, Hey, he's putting chalk on here. And I said, yeah, it's first amendment, right? I have every right to do that. I have an obstructing this view. I intentionally came out here early to get the chalk down before people showed up or before there was a lot of traffic on the sidewalk. Uh, I have not blocked anybody's, uh, way here. Uh, I have noticed that uh, the church goers are pretty, uh, pretty good litter bugs. Um, he then told me, right, hey, I can't go across the, the, the white caulk line. Uh, and I said, you mean the white caulk line? He says, well, on their property. I said, yeah, the white caulk line to show him 100 percent. Sorry, guys. Uh, to show him 100 percent. I know fully well where, their, where the property line is, and I've never crossed that threshold. So it's not an issue. Uh, in this space. She then uh, said, and he's the one that flies the drone over our building. By the way, flying a drone is 100% per legal in this area. 
and I have an, uh, a Part 107 license, so I can uh, fly drones for commercial benefit or in the furtherance of a business, which is what the FAA requires if you're, um, uh, the requirement for getting in uh, Part 107 uh, is that if you were to monetize it in any way or further a business, you don't even have to make money. You can help a friend make money. Um, that you have to have a Part 107 license. I do have a Part 107 license. Uh, the flight was logged. Uh, nothing was illegal in that process. Uh, she then brought the police inside. Uh, they talked for what, five, 10 minutes inside? Uh, the reason I want that incident number is because I'm gonna want to get that video, uh, the body camera of what was going on inside. Uh, she then came out and doxed me again and um, mentioned uh, members of my family. And I just want everybody to know she was incorrect in her assumptions uh, on the members of my family. And then the lieutenant came up. And, and I, I don't know if he's a lieutenant or sergeant, but white shirts are, are the elevated ranks uh, in the Chicago Police Department. Um, yeah, they did pour the water over here. Uh, the anything positive about the church? Not even close to getting arrested because I didn't do anything illegal. <laughs> the First Amendment is greater than your church, even though your church is protected by the First Amendment. That's the other Chad. That's not Chad Wick. Uh, that is. Uh, his name is Chad. I just don't remember um, what his last name is. It's on the article on there. But the lieutenant said, hey, you can't go in people's faces. And I'm going to say, oh, excellent. Uh, I shouldn't eat yellow snow. I shouldn't pick my nose in public. Any other things you want to tell me that I don't do uh, in this place? So um, I don't think that hairspray, I think hairspray gets you in trouble because if it's not washable, uh, I think that you can get yourself in a bit of trouble there. Now, I will say that um, if I came here and I pre-wet this, I'll bet they could get me in trouble because that is a little bit harder to, uh, sorry, got to adjust this camera here. That is a little bit harder to uh, say that it's cleanable, but since they put the water here, I got no problem. So I'm replacing my Colt. Yeah, MLH, I'll say that I'll let somebody else test that one. <laughs> You're okay that women can't report sexual abuses against them in this church? Thanks, Mechman. I, I learned from a lot of you guys that were out, were out here before me. Um, I'm fairly confident that I understand this. Oh, by the way, she also said, hey, let me tell you about the new hate crimes that were passed. Uh, I asked the officer if there was anything here that he thought was anywhere near hate crime. And he said no. And it's like, well, I don't care if you pass hate crimes because I agree. Hate crimes shouldn't be allowed. This is not a hate crime. This is a stating of facts. Um, have a great day at the cult.
Um, I do like when I get the police to admit to the idea that nothing I've done is wrong. I do like that when they want to say, but if you did this, I try to cut them off and say, but did I do that? So I don't care about the if I did stuff, right? Um, I'm fairly confident that if I had a weapon and uh, discharged it in the direction of another humanoid, uh, that that's illegal. And I appreciate you telling me that, but that's not something you have to tell me. I know not to do that without your cops blaming. Correct. Now, what I will say is thought induction or the, uh, the brainwashing that occurs here, that should be criminal. It's at the very least unethical. One hundred percent. Right. This is not while they claim to be the most ethical and maybe only Sea Org is the most ethical. This is not a group of ethical people. Um, I, I wish they were logical. Right. That, that she kind of came out and said, uh, well, and the other person that just walked by, Chad, um, you're lucky you didn't get arrested or, you know, don't touch his water because uh, he'll arrest you for assault or he'll, he'll charge you with assault. And it's like, you act like that's not in your playbook, right? Less than a week, well, I guess just over a week ago, you did the same damn thing and you charged somebody with assault for a fictitious activity that took place. Hey, uh, MLH, can you weigh in on this? Um, Somebody had mentioned that when, since I'm part of this activity, that when the police walked in to talk to the church member, that I should have been able to follow them. Uh, I, I don't believe that's a true statement. I, I did make sure that he had his body camera on and that uh, he did. Get, I did make sure that I got the incident number afterwards. Um, but I don't believe that oh, one of the other uh, women. Yeah, I didn't think that I had any right there. Now, the other night when um, a phone was borrowed and said, hey, can I show them inside? I would have said, hey, if you let me come in there, I'll show them. But yeah, there I would not have let them uh, do that in the first place. Um, this woman, I really, I don't like putting any stress on her. I, I have no understanding as to why she's not in her retirement a joyful time. Now, maybe she does come here like and, and write in the letters. That, that's awesome. But it's, it's tough. So. How are you today? <laughs> it works that way. Yep. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Do you um, can you take pain medication for it or can you do therapy for it? Can you do, sorry, can you do pain medication for the, for the back or can you do therapy for the back? Okay. But even, even like therapy maybe or uh, stretching um, like chiropractic or something like that? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I my my grandparents had the same thing that their doctors kept on resigning and retiring as they were aging. Yeah, so. That, that, that's a problem. Right. So. All right. You have a lovely day. Thank you. Heat heat sometimes helps too. Heat uh, heat. Uh, rest sometimes. Yeah. And, and yep. Definitely. No, oh, thank you. <laughs> I need to do that better too. Yeah. You know, so you don't get too proud about it. 
I understood. So I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> Such a joy. You have a great day. I hope you heard some of that. And I know I, I didn't have the other mic. Um, could you hear, could you hear much of that? All right, I'm not seeing a response here. I, I just kind of want to relay what was said there. And again, I, this is everybody's grandmother, right? I don't want to, again, put pressure on here is, is the way that I'll say it. So. Uh, and I, Michael, let me kind of go over what the conversation was. How are you doing? And she said, oh, same old. And I kind of giggled about that a little bit. And she goes, eh, my back's a little bit sore. Uh, and I asked her, I said, well, um, can you take medication for the pain or can you do therapy? And she said, oh, no, medication never, can't do that. And then she has done therapy and chiropractic. So that's good. Um, but her chiropractor has retired or since moved on from chiropractic. Um, then we talked a little bit about heat, uh, and then she said, and I just need to have a good posture too. So I think that Trashy had an interaction with this woman before as well. And that interaction was the, where we learned, right, that she's, um, a letter writer. Uh, when she goes in there, she's just writing letters all day. Now I knew she couldn't take meds. I just wanted to kind of hear her say it, um, on that. That's, that's brutal that she's got to go through that kind of work. Howdy. You know, um, I'm going to say that There may have been a signal in what she was saying um, in that, you know, early on, same old thing. And she goes, I just wish it was over. And my hope is she was saying that she wishes the pain was over. Um, I know that it's, it's very easy for us to create a narration that says there was something more um, in that. Uh, and if there is, I definitely hope that somehow somebody can make contact with them. I don't know if she has family or, or anything of that nature, but uh, I think that would be incredibly uh, important that you know, people are taking care of her. You know, if, if we put any weight into the Lisa McPherson story, we know that she's not going to get any kind of mental uh, help in there. Um, so hopefully it was just a statement that she wishes her back pain was no longer there. What time is it? We're about 10 o'clock. Uh, so we've been out here for about an hour. Uh, what other fun have we had here today? Um, police came out, uh, let me know that everything I'm doing is 100% okay and legit. Uh, and that there are certain things that I'm not supposed to do. Uh, like, apparently, I'm not allowed to make uh, threats uh, against political authorities. Uh, I am uh, not allowed to uh, uh, inflict capital punishment on people. Uh, I am not allowed to rob from banks, uh, I'm pretty sure is, is one of the things that you wanted to remind me about. Um, but as it turns out I'm 100% okay putting chalk on a sidewalk uh, to recite factual and uh, well-stated articulated points. So that's uh, George from uh, Surrounded by Scientology. Uh, I think that Aaron kind of let it out of the bag uh, a couple of days ago, uh, but we will likely have a Surrounded by Scientology sighting today. Very comfortable that we're going to see Free Zenu Project. 
Um, I think that there are going to be a couple of non-streaming protesters uh, that come out as well. Um, we, uh, I would not be at all surprised if we see Juanita, Heligear, uh, maybe Corn. I think that Corn said she was coming out, um, and just a few other people that I'd rather let them uh, say that they're uh, let them announce when they arrive rather than anything else. Um, Sorry, when there's people coming by, I usually don't like to um, put the, the camera on just the neighborhood people. Uh, I know that the college students get a little bit sensitive to it. That's just an old video and I'll say that, hey, sometimes we do clicks and uh, we do things for, uh, for clicks. Um, but I think that George got that uh, down in Clearwater I can't remember what the incident was, but it, it was about a month ago. Uh, we also saw, what, Chadwick with the broom on that. Uh, who else? Uh, I, um, a couple of days ago, I re retrieved another uh, ticket for the org. I'm pretty sure we're about to see another org member go in, uh, not a uh, public go in. So uh, when well, they were passing out flyers the other day and uh, I was able to contact a person afterwards and they gave me the flyer. So, right. Should women be able to report crimes against them if they've been perpetrated by members of this church? Why did the church stop Danny Masterson's victims from reporting their crimes for 20 years? Why are they still actively trying to suppress those people? And what's gonna be, what I don't like about what we just saw right there, right? So a child just walked in there and an elderly person, probably a public, right? Um, maybe going in for coursework. Um, also highly likely that purification would have been part of that uh, scenario. Um, my guess is that uh, they're directing staff members, because many much of the staff members would have already been here, right? Um, but they'll start directing staff members to use the back door. Um, it's something also of note, the older woman, she knows I'm out here protesting all of the time. Um, I don't think that she had one scintilla of animosity towards me. Um, I've never given her any reason to fear me. Um, the very first time, well, one of the first times I remember approaching her, she was having a tough time getting up the curb here. Uh, and I was miffed because the security guard, uh, instead of coming out and offering an arm or offering help uh, to her, um, decided that he was going to retreat inside the doors because he didn't want to be on camera. Um, I want to offer my arm, arm to that woman. I asked her one day, do you want help? And then I realized that ugh, it's just too dangerous that that is going to be turned into an assault charge in half a second if I in any way uh, make contact with that woman, uh, physical contact with that woman. Yeah, I, I do believe that. And you know, we've said this many times. 
I am not anti-Scientologist. I'm anti-Scientology. Uh, somebody in a stream recently said, right, 98% of these people, it might have been Eric the Raider, 98% um, of these people, greatest people in the world, salt of the earth, they've been duped, right? They came in here on an idealistic um, process and thought they were going to save the world. So it's, it's hard to fault them. They're victims in every way, shape, and form. And then there's that other 2%, which they're just evil incarnate. And they like the disciplinary elements and the authoritative control that they're able to exert in these scenarios. Um, they like being big fish in a small pond. Yeah, I, I understand the sentiment here. I, I don't think that they would ever send that woman out, uh, uh, out after me. Um, that so just a, a a little heads up. That person lives in this building, right here, right, um, and all she has to do is walk across the street to get in here, and uh, all that's happening. Uh, oh, thank you, Susan. It was so much fun being out with her. Hey, Juanita, are we going to see you today? Um, that, you know, that woman just has to cross the street. So she was just on her way to work. There was nothing. Uh, I don't think the church did anything to um, bring her out uh, today. That she just comes here. She does her work. Uh, if we listen to Trashy's uh, stream, uh, she's one of the people that writes letters. So remember, uh, never give a Scientologist your email or your phone number because you're going to be contacted forever. Um, they keep track of moving records, postal records, all kinds of things in that nature. Uh, and they're just gonna keep on sending you uh, literature information to get you to come back on course or to spend money, right? That's, that's really what the objective is. Is it okay that women can't report crimes in this church? That's probably true, right? The, the idea that, you know, there's, I, I can't, there's, it's a studio apartment, six to nine people in a studio apartment. It's, it's either cots or bunk beds. And my guess is you go home, you sleep, you wake up. Now, I will say that I have seen some of the younger people uh, out in the neighborhood and, you know, they show up on Facebook uh, quite a bit. Um, that they do have social activities that go in here. Uh, I can't, I don't know if that woman, right, does she have friends? Does she, is she able to get on the phone and, and talk to friends uh, about that? Um, is she able to letter write and, and write friends uh, to people? I've got it up, so you're fine. Um, that, you know, I'm curious, what does that woman's social life look like, her life outside of the church? Yeah, they can't let people go. And, and there's plenty of reasons why they can't let people go, right? They need the free letter, uh, the free labor, right? So, so this woman, again, she's going to write. She, her stat is, I, I don't know what the name of the stat is, but the stat is basically how many letters are going out the door, right? How many, she's got she's to um, send outward messages. And I don't know if it's email or if she's, she looks like she's from the era that she puts pen on paper uh, and writes letters. Um, so they can't give up that free labor. And they also can't give up, the uh, the there's the fear of what information does she know that could be harmful to us right um, we go back to another thing that we talked about a little bit earlier uh, she called me out because I flew my drone over the property um, I do want you to know, I've heard several other creators say, I want to get a drone. Now, 
uh, I also heard last night DOA has a drone, but DOA also does have the Part 107 license. It is rather important that you do have the 107 license. Uh, the FAA is pretty well known for, or get, they get a lot of tips uh, from people saying, hey, there's drone footage on this YouTube channel. And the FAA will find you, and it's a hefty fine uh, to monetize your commercial activity. If you want to use uh, your drone for, um, uh, for recreational use, right, that's 100% fine. You can do that. Um, but uh, if you put it on YouTube, even if you're not monetized, YouTube is monetized. YouTube makes money from that drone footage, and therefore it's in furtherance of a business. So be very, very careful um, not to think, oh, cool, Larry's got a drone. I'll go get a drone, and I'll do drone stuff too. Um, you do need to have the correct uh, permits for that to occur. Uh, we're starting to see a little bit more foot activity here. Um, the same thing, uh, you will, you know, in different places have different ordinances and um, laws. So uh, make sure you're being very careful uh, about those elements. One of the things that I really loved, we had, remember what, a month ago we came out and there was a protest route here and she had a, um, a sales, uh, like if you went to a sales pitch, it was a display rack. And on, on the display sign, it had the two um, definitions. One being autonomy, you get to think for yourself, you get to do what you want, you're an independent person, and one being automaton. Yep, 100%. Yep. It, the, you're, Michael, you're absolutely correct. It's the idea that the intent of the flight has to be recreational. Now, there is a small caveat to that. If you put up a drone for the intent for it to be recreational and you catch something like a, a car accident or a, a fire or something like that, you can monetize that after the fact. But when the drone left the ground, the intent had to be recreational. Oh, I've got to stop looking at comments when I talk because I forgot what I was talking about. Yeah, I'm going to say that I'm going to be out here both on the 18th and the 25th. Uh, the only reason being that, you know, did they change it because, and again, change it to a later date um, to try to throw everybody off the trail and um, have us come here a week too late for that process. Uh, Michael, were you by chance able to get that um, incident number? I know that you usually do a very good job of sending me that kind of information afterwards. Do you know what this is? Do you know who they are? Uh, it's, it's a cult. It's the Church of Scientology. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Michael. I did read it back to the tape, so I'll be able to get it on the recording. Um, I did bring extra batteries today and, uh, I have my charger, uh, so there might be a period that I'm going to, uh, take a break this afternoon, but, uh, not yet. Tell you what, I'm not seeing anybody else here. Uh, and just to generate some heat, I'm going to put everything back in my backpack, zip that up and, Let's take a, uh, a lap around back real quick.
So um, if you're newer to the channel, we are on Clark Street. The church is basically right in the middle of Clark Street, 650 South Clark Street. The street at the top is 600. The street at the bottom is 800. We are going to walk to the bottom, which is Polk Street, P-O-L-K. We'll uh, then go through the alley just to see if there's anything interesting out there. Uh, my expectation is that uh, we'll come back to a clean sidewalk. Hi, Osa, because I'm sure Osa's watching by now. Uh, and that they've done the research uh, in this space. If I was a cop, I would have pulled that guy over just now. He was weaving. Yeah, I think it's really important that we show up in force for those kinds of things because that brings in um, a lot of publics. And um, I, I think that the ability to, uh, whether it's shame or anything else in that space, um, that we, we want to be out in force to let people know what this church really does. We're approaching the back alley right now. Doesn't look to be much activity here. It's a little bit messier than usual. Usually, I'm not seeing stuff strewn about like this. Uh, these garbage cans, so these garbage cans have always been locked, uh, but these are a special kind of garbage can. Those are used for compression, so the, the, uh, the trash gets compacted into there. Hello, Michelle and Reese, how are you? We got a little bit of rain yesterday. Uh, yesterday was beautiful. Oh, by the way, uh, if you're just coming in, yesterday I had a really enjoyable uh, day away from protesting. Uh, a friend of mine and I, uh, we walked the entire distance of Western Avenue and we had several barley sodas on the way. Um, but Western Avenue is the longest contiguous street in the city of Chicago. And <laughs> So yesterday the lock was on this garbage can. Today the lock is back on the right garbage can. And this is the, has the address of the Church of Scientology. And yep, it still has the SBTV Nation on the side. Uh, I'm sorry, SBTV Foundation on the side there. Um, but we walked from Evanston all the way down to Blue Island. And we also high pointed Chicago. And by the way, while that sounds like a feat to High Point Chicago, uh, it is not. <laughs> you need no oxygen tanks. You need new, no crampons. You have to walk, be able to walk up a 20 foot, uh, a 20 foot incline. We're still seeing the SPTV Foundation on the bumpers here. Uh, they did clean it off of one of the bumpers. Not sure why one and not all. They're probably padding their stats that, right, one week they said, hey, I cleaned off one post and leave the other two so that they can have up stat the next, the next week. Yeah, I wonder if that's, um, again, we, 
most of Scientology is very much siloed. So does campus A, you have to do a few things that campus B can't do. Um, is C Org, remember he was C Org. I doubt that this woman is C Org. I think she's staff. Um, do they get to do anything different? Um, and also just given her age, right, is, is she somebody who would have been more underneath the L. Ron Hubbard learnings or the Miscavige learnings? So there's a thousand variables that could say why or why not uh, she feels okay or not okay taking drugs. Yeah, I'm still kind of cracking up at the, um, it's Sunday, what a spiritual day. And they have zero spiritual beliefs, right? That uh, there is no God. <laughs> There's a thing that's amorphous that's bigger than you, but it's more like the universe or infinity. It's not spirituality. So they did come out and, and put a little bit more water out. Uh, I am going to keep that person from being able to do whatever his job was today. Uh, oh, you know what? Let me go look at the other door. So we did see that they were doing some. Some work on this door. It looked like they were they did a replacement of this handle. Um, not quite sure. I, I can't really tell anything there. Uh, the new handle. The one on the right looks like it's already nicked up. So did they put a used handle on here? But the maintenance person was definitely doing something there. This is another one that would be interesting, Michelle and Reese. Um, do staff members, like uh, if, if we think about it that, um, right, Mark was just a staff member. Um, did their birthing get searched? I'm, I'm not positive on that. Haha. <laughs> I would imagine that does make it a little bit more challenging, Gregory. Yeah, the idea that you just can't get on from a standing still, right? You've got to kind of uh, push it forward and, and make sure it's in motion as you go through there. Uh, I was, I was not overly afraid of it. I just, you know, until they said my name out loud, I wasn't going to say my name out loud. So again, Paul Erickson. I have no shame. I've lived a life. I've done things good. I've done things bad. Is it okay that women can't report abuses in uh, Scientology? Yep, 100%. You should just read a book. Uh, Friday night, I was out at DePaul in the um, the Palestinian encampment for the Gaza protest, uh, and there were people giving away free Qurans, and the idea that right every other religion in the world gives their scripture freely in order to bring people in. In this, it's such a pay-to-play scheme. Here comes hot dog. Uh, that's a reference that some of you might get that uh, there was uh, a person who uh, I've had a couple of prior interactions with. Uh, he was out front here once um, with Nance kind of yeah, imposing or intimidating. 
you know, that sort of thing where when you stand so, so close to somebody that they should have the right to uh, physically react to defend themselves. Um, and that uh, I told him that he knew who I, I knew who he was. I couldn't figure out who he was. And I said, you're the guy I bought hot dogs the other day, aren't you? And he goes, yeah. And then a little bit later, no, you didn't. I never, had, I don't know how to get hot dogs on this street. And then I did a little video on, on that, um, that it showed the, the actual receipts of the day I bought the hot dogs for him. <laughs> I don't know what this is. So this is newer. I don't know if somebody dropped it or if it was intentional. I'll go ahead and put this in the garbage. Looks like something that came off of a sticker. Uh, also, just to show you how um, so there's a sticker on this post right here, right? Now, Scientology chooses when they want to enforce laws and when they don't want to enforce laws. They don't have the police out here trying to hassle anybody that put any tape on that post um, for that sign. But if somebody comes out here and does anything uh, antithetical to the cult of Scientology, they're absolutely doing that. Thank you, Erica. Yeah, the church is leaking. Now people are getting a little bit annoyed that they have to walk around the water. Um, hot dog guy kind of posted up in front of the urban pantry. Uh, that's not, uh, unlike him. That is a place where he goes. Like when I went and bought him the hot dogs, the clerk, um, said, Hey, don't come back in here and try and refund those for alcohol. So he's known in that establishment. Uh, anyhow, uh, I'm just setting you down for a second. I want to pull some chalk out again. Pull this up. I'm going to tuck these cords in as well. It's getting kind of chilly, so there's no, uh, it's overcast here today, uh, low 50s. <coughs> uh, it's humid. Yeah, we're messing with people. I uh, gotcha, thanks. I want to, yep. I'm gonna put you guys a little bit up in the air on the uh, Got corn coming down the street. Oh, 
Yeah. Well, they uh, they're helping me out there. Oh, they did this. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, they've called the police on me. The police confirmed that I've done nothing wrong. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, I came early just so that right, I wouldn't have the, I wouldn't be obstructing people. An hour and a, uh, two hours, sometimes the morning. Definitely hope that feels better. Yeah, do no harm. Nice. Nice. Excellent. Should women be able to report crimes against them to the police? sad to watch women be okay with that idea. Yes. I don't know if you saw um, a couple of days ago I was out here and two people went in and, and I couldn't tell if they were friends of anybody in the church or not friends of somebody in the church but they came out and they walked down and I said, oh, did you have a good time? And they said, I'm going to join. How you doing? Um, how, how are you doing? I'm, gonna, or I'm sorry, I'm going to join. I'm like, you're okay that women can report sexual abuse? And she goes, okay. And I went, you can't be serious. She goes, we were just kidding. I was like, well, you don't kid about that. I'm sorry, Very I nice. just can't because you actually <laughs> made me. <laughs> Out of bounds. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. That's an awesome shirt. Um, Never in Nana, I believe, is the name of that. Yeah, that's that's ridiculous. The idea that hey, that somebody who wants to defend your right to be able to report abuses against you is the bad guy. That one's wrong. Ha. Corn has a great one too. Right. <laughs> I, I guess I suppose I would be, but um, I like the safe person part. I got a 
Thank you, Cubs. Love seeing the Boston work as well. No, no. And I won't have to keep bringing it back yep. and forth. And then one thing I'd like, so um, the more stuff I can leave here so that I can be more mobile. Yes. I appreciate that. Well, okay. Then if you want me to take it, then I'll just let the suitcase be the chalk. The chalkology. Yep. Oh my gosh, I am the professor. <laughs> I have to bring the chalk. Oh, okay. I think my neighbor has one of those. Um, one of the things that I, I saw. I was thinking about it, and then I saw somebody do it yesterday in LA. I don't. I didn't watch them actually finish, but to buy stencils, so that way we can chalk so fast, right? That you can get yeah. it down. And I wonder if there's like a chalk powder, so that yeah, way you could just sprinkle it over the top yeah. instead of. Yeah, um, almost like what they use. Yeah. Like yeah. The baseball uh, fields and stuff. Like right. That. Oh my gosh! If we have yeah, spread out here, <laughs> I probably could get my hands on one to tell you the truth. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Area. So they have had the police. I don't know if you've been watching or not, oh, but they've I, had. The <laughs> I go from the shower and get out of the shower. And it's like, oh my god! Well, I I got on the L. The <laughs> I love that. I appreciate it. All right. I'm gonna go get a hot coffee, and I'm gonna walk a block a little bit just to warm up a little bit. I'm a little okay. chilled. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, oh, you guys don't. I, I know what you're saying. I see. Okay, gotcha. I'll, I'll, hang, I'll hang out here. I'll uh, hang out. FXP is coming. Okay. You know what? Uh, uh, I'll just, I'm going gonna, gonna to get it at Dunkin'. I'll get it at Dunkin' and then I'll come back here. All right, rather than walk around. MCC municipal code. Yep. Um, but you can't deface or mark the public property. Permanently deface or mark? No, correct. Not permanently. Mark or deface. Okay. Uh, so major point, you know, we we're fairly lenient when it comes to First Amendment stuff. Um, but we aren't going to go back and forth, washing it off, rewriting it, washing it off, rewriting it all day. Yes, we are. If push comes to shove, it is against the law. Yep. Uh, so I'm telling you. I'm going to look up the MCC. Don't worry about it. If you want to write it down, I'll give you the actual Thank paragraph you. I'm citing. Yep. Um, and I'll just let you know I am recording as well. So I looked it up myself just to double check and to double check that we are speaking about. Hey, can you help me understand how that's the face? Oh, no, I'm, I'm sorry, I'll let you go. I'll so, let you go. All right. No person shall. You got your video? Red, yep. Shall red, cut, red, injure, light mark, black, damage, or black, deface. Black, any public building, sewer, water pipe, hydrant, or other city that. property, fixture, or personal and, uh, property, or any tree grass shell, public way, or public park. Prince. Okay? And then, uh, you went that south is municipal code 8-4-120. Yep. And it's, it's a tickable offense, not an arrestable offense. It is ticketable at first, but if the ticket doesn't suffice, we don't do multiple tickets. Okay. If a ticket... Um, if we, for instance, issue a ticket, yep. and then right afterwards, we'll then make it a physical arrest. So, but our our, our objective here is not to, right. to make arrests, mm -hmm. not to make physical contact. Like I said, we err on the side of leniency um, when it comes to First Amendment issues, but at the same time, it is against okay. the municipal code, and my larger concern is that. This will escalate between the two parties and could risk harm to you or them I when people's tolerance and patience deteriorates and there's a potential for someone in error getting physically violent. Yeah. So I, I want to avert a confrontation that could come along by now telling you we can't okay. write any more on the sign. No problem. I'll let them know. Your point's been made. Yep. Um, my point hasn't been close to being made, but I understand. Your, I understand what you're saying. Okay. 
Uh, can, can you guys do me a favor? Most ordinances have definitions at the bottom. And if you could look up where Mark is at the, on the bottom, because I think Mark is to deface or de mar as in Mark. Mark so comma deface. Yep. I understand that. Um, I understand what you're saying. There is another ordinance yep. when it comes to defacing, yep. damaging. And I concur that this isn't damaging the property, but it is, in fact, marking or defacing. Not permanently, but someone has to clean it. If you imagine, the rain cleans it. But sir, if you could imagine on a larger scale, if everyone just wrote what they felt like on every sidewalk. Correct. And they can't. No, they can't. That's why that law says they can't. We have stuff written everywhere. And that's why in order to maintain a certain level... You, you want to enforce all the laws? Sure, but I wasn't hearing that one up. Okay. That's why I'm watching you right on the mm -hmm. sidewalk. We also have videos. So that's yep. where it's a little different. Yeah, if someone was in front of me putting things up there, I would tell them the same thing. You can't put that up there. You know you could get the off the camera, right? They're a very helpful organization to you. Why don't you ask them to give you the camera for this, the footage for that? I suppose I could, yeah. but you know but what? You I won't. have bigger fish to fry. I think you have bigger fish but to fry than this. someone that may have put that flyer up, yeah. God knows when, wearing a hoodie and now trying to track them on camera yeah. to identify them is not a reasonable expectation. So when the crime's easy to solve, we'll go after the easy yes, crime. Yes. Okay. Do whatever semantics do. I'm not, I'm not intimidated by your stick of cameras. Uh -huh. You know what I mean. Yep. A reasonable person knows what I mean. Okay. There are rules and laws about all sorts of things. Mm -hmm. The fact of the matter is there are not resources to follow and enforce every last little thing down to the absolute letter of the law. And honestly, that's not the society we want to live in. But you're going to come out every time they call you, and you're going to try to do everything they do to let them impose upon you to do what you can. Well, sir, when we get a call, it generates a, a recorded, yep. documented request for uh, service. I know I've got all the recordings. I am obligated to respond to that mm -hmm. request for service and handle it. If I don't, then I'm failing to do my part, because while well, you're a tax paying citizen, they are as well. At, at so what point is it an abuse of the 911 system? They, they, at what point is it an abuse of the 911 system? Listen, I'm not here to debate this. I'm not here to spend any more time I'm trying to keep it simple. Like mm -hmm. I said, we don't want to be in the middle of your First Amendment rights here. I'm not trying to suppress that, but there are rules and regulations to it. Okay. They're not absolute and without any limitations on First Amendment rights. Okay? Correct. I agree. Time, place, and manner. And just trying to hey, get Chad, what, how are you doing? The, on the same page yep. uh, and leave it at that. Okay. okay. So, to help solve the chalk problem here, we've got three officers. We don't want to waste resources in Chicago, and this is the example of us not raising resources in Chicago. I'm a supervisor and they come to support me. That's all. So I'm going to go advise them of what we just talked about. Yep. 
<laughs> I'll bet you on that one. <laughs> so, sir, excuse me, sir. Mr. Dolan, Officer Dolan. Officer Dolan, a citizen of your, uh, of your community is asking a question. Are you choosing not to engage? I don't. So a Chicago police officer choosing not to engage with a taxpaying citizen, but he's going to go and be the lapdog of this non-taxpaying organization that child traffics, human traffics, uh, doesn't allow women to report sexual abuses to the police if the, the person that committed the uh, crime is one of their members. Danny Masters is in jail right now for 30 years to life, and the church would not let his members come forward or his victims come forward for 20 years. How are you doing? Good. We just lost an officer down in Gage Park this week, and we've got, at this point, four plus two, six officers helping with uh, two, two women and a person writing chalk a First Amendment protected activity with a subversion of the rule. I believe that mark is going to be the idea that you have to permanently mark something. No. Officer Roman, I have a question. Um, my guess is all white shirts are some form of elevation. Um, is it sergeants and lieutenants or uh, so the, a white shirt a, a form of different it's a rank delineation right yeah so supervisor right. in some way yeah is, is it sergeant is it lieutenant what uh where does the white shirt start where does where, it's sergeant. cool and honestly just out of curiosity Yeah, they believe in a space opera. <laughs> they believe in a space opera. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. But don't we'll get it long. Yep. Do you know drone laws by chance? Because they also claimed that there was a drone law violation. Yeah. And in reality, the police have zero ability to enforce anything on the drone unless it's the pilot on the ground. You have no control of the airspace, right? Unless it's a TFR. Oh, Unless it's a TFR. Correct. That's what I do understand. So, yep. um, and I agree with the zooming. Because uh, that's, I don't know what peeping Tom is, but whatever peeping Tom is, right? Yesterday on my walk down um, Western Avenue, uh, we were at St. Rita, which is where the services for the fallen officer this week was. And he was interred at Rose Hill, which is the top of uh, Western Avenue. So the procession went all the way up the street. Uh, an officer lost his life, I think it was last week uh, at this point in time. And we have criminals, of, we have crimes of that nature in the city. And we have six officers here who are worried about chalk and the possibility that things might escalate. So this is the use of Chicago's tax dollars and how an organization can so, can so corrupt the police just like they did on opening day. And I'm sorry for the officer slain, the officer who was slain in line of duty.
Hey, don't ask, don't tell. <laughs> Is there a reason why an officer wouldn't engage a citizen of the city when he asks a question? Does that seem right? There's a crime in progress. They've just asked more officers to go to the other crime. These are not the officers that they've chosen to release for that crime. Freezing news on the way. How you doing? Since you got your camera, I'm gonna go get a coffee. Oh yeah. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Later. no problem. Uh, what do you want? Just regular black. Okay. Got two staff members heading down the street. Uh, I'm going to turn you off for just a second.
All right, sorry about that. Just want to go and grab coffee. I go for you too. Oh, you can just set it down. I'm not uh, an uh, issue here. Sorry, can, uh, can you just take this one off? Thanks. Take this one off. This one. Excellent. I, and then I've got no. I'm I'm stealing this one. <laughs> I follow you now. Sorry, I'm trying to get, grab the coffee, put it in my hand. I'm halfway concerned about the amount of time they're going in there, so I'm gonna take a walk around the block. Sure. Uh, you've got, if, are you, do you have your camera up? Or yeah, will it be yeah, up soon? Yeah, it'll be okay. on the side, I'm gonna wait till you get your camera up then. Yep. Hey, George. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you. So we've got George. By the way, we're both live. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go mute for a second. I want to tell you something that we can't. Let me go mute. One other step. <laughs> I, I was so intrigued when I was like, how in the world did you get down there? Yeah. So. Awesome. Well, so good to see you. Good, good job to see you today. As well. Thank you. Um, let's take a look here. Let's look at some chalk tech. They're now, about to tell us we can't. I don't know if you've been watching up until now. I have. Okay. And I've had you on my live stream the whole way here while I filmed all of downtown. For sure. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Um, just stay off of that chalk, that cop line. That's yep. their property. All right. All right. All right. I'll be right back. Okay. All right. George just arrived. Uh, surrounded by Scientology. Um, I'm going to go through the alley as well. Yeah. The, if the officer just went in to um, say, let them know uh, that that chalk was, uh, that marking with chalk was not legal. He would have been out by now. Um, I'm trying to figure out what other things they're trying to contrive right now. Now, remember when the, when the org member came out and, oh, my pearls, he's going to claim assault. And it's like, you're the ones that contrive so many crimes against anybody who has anything negative to say about your church. And you're worried about those taxes being pulled on you? That's ridiculous. Absolutely, Michael. Let me see if I can. Yeah, these cops would. They would never, and by the way, it's not an arrestable offense. They would never stop a child from doing this. Um, this really is the idea, and, and the claim that he doesn't want this to escalate is absolute bullshit um, in this space. We've seen the escalations occur here that if they didn't want things to escalate, how did Nance Drew end up in, in jail for six hours? Wait, I need to hear a woohoo the next time you do that. <laughs> Love that rig. So, 
got a, a Sony A87, I think, um, with uh, the attached memory card and a gimbal that allows her to kind of hold it to her body. Uh, with so many cops in the uh, area, I am going to wait for the green light. Uh, let everybody know I was doxxed uh, this morning. So I'll maybe go by Paul in the future instead of Wendy, but I, I don't know if people have gotten used enough to Wendy or not. While the police were there, um, we did see Chadwick enter the building. Hey, did anybody use the Chadwick emoji yet? And uh, what else have we seen? Yep, listen. Regarding the um, officer, uh, or sergeant, whatever, the guy in the, the white jacket that was talking to me, I don't think he finds any pleasure in this. He is trying to find a reasonable middle ground. Um, I do not think that I would see this kind of effort if I called the police and said there were kids writing on uh, my sidewalk. Um, so it's it's very ingenuine, the idea that, oh, I'm just here to de-escalate. And it's like, well, if you're de-escalating, why are there six cops here? I don't think that's the right de-escalation process. We're over on Dearborn now. Not seeing much. I'm just going to kind of uh, go around the block. I want to want to give a chance for the police to clear out. I do want to say that, listen, police put themselves in danger an awful lot. They are in the line of fire, right? Um, we did have an officer lose his life this week. Uh, he was a very well-respected officer, uh, a great community liaison, uh, which I'm going to say is different than, you know, Officer Dolan, who was the one that would refuse to even say hello to me, chose not to engage with me. And I want to check uh, if, to see if that's part of Chicago police policy, you know, that they can just ignore me, right? What if I was in danger at that point in time? Uh, what, was, what, what, what would his rationale be <laughs> to ignore me? Uh, coming up to State Street, remember when we, when we were approaching the org this morning, we saw two, uh, three staff members coming from this direction. So right, uh, I was down there at the red awning and we saw three uh, staff members come by. Yeah, I, I know he's showing the code, but I'm going to say that, you know, the code says Mark. And I'm going to say it's really hard for me to understand that um, Mark doesn't mean to make an impression upon in that space. Uh, he then said, well, then they have to clean it. And I said, no, rain cleans it. And they choose to clean it, as Ellie had mentioned earlier, right? Um, I, I'm not forcing them to clean it. If they don't want to clean it, don't clean it. Oftentimes, you'll see in laws, at the bottom of the laws, there'll be vocabulary definitions. Um, so that might have a definition at the bottom of what Mark is, but I don't think that we're gonna see that on there. And it's just not, so here's what I'm gonna say. I think that you could beat it in court and I don't think any judge in the world would convict you, but I'm not positive I wanna spend that time in, in court. 
Uh, now, again, the first thing that's supposed to happen is you're supposed to get a ticket. Um, yeah, uh, sorry about this. So I found something. If I'm drinking a coffee, it's very hard for me to um, mark the comments. You know, you're probably right, and I'm being more generous than I need to be uh, in regards to this. Uh, I'm going to say that they could have gone all the way the other way and just come with the citation, right, and, and written the ticket for me. Seeing that my phone is uh, low on juice, and what happens then is I'll I'll take this mic out and I'll let the mic kind of recover uh, so I can plug the phone in. Um, but then we'll be on uh, a mic that doesn't isolate sound quite as well. Uh, we're heading back down Polk Street. All right, I'll get over there. Um, I'm gonna, is, is he saying anything different than he said before, right? That, hey, marking is, is the problem. This is the other building, right? So 731 South. And I think this is gonna be considered a South Plymouth uh, address. Uh, this is the other building. I don't know why I'm whispering right now. This is the other building that Scientologists are, are in. Since there's so many people down here, I should have brought the signs down because the signs are another easier way for this to happen. But um, as I've tried to express on the channel, I need to be as mobile as possible so that I can kind of get after the uh, body routers when they're out handing out uh, flyers. And if I've got the signs, uh, it's just too much to, I, I can't pack that up really quickly if I need to. But since we have so many people out here today, it would have been a very good day for that, to, have, uh, to for me to have done that. I do want to, at the next time I go to one of the CAPS meetings, uh, I want to get a definition of what marking is uh, from the city law, because it's a city municipal, it's a municipal code, it's not a state code. And it's a code that's in, you know, Many cities have this code or a code similar to it. Do we still have seven cops out there? Folks, if you're big fans of sushi, uh, this Umai, uh, I, I'm pretty sure it's called Umai. They put a new Japanese name on here, but it's the same people that own it. Uh, great, great little place for that. Uh, I see the uh, cops down there.
Spring, I do. If one of the mods can put it out there, I'd appreciate that. Howdy. Yeah, I'm going to call bullshit on that. It's either marking or it's not marking. Period. Now, hate speech versus not hate speech is a different statement. And I don't need chalk. Uh, if I'm, um, if it's a sign, if it's paint, if it's spray paint, if it's chalk and it's hate speech, that's hate speech. It does, I, I don't care about the medium. Yeah, there, there's some of it is they're terrible at, at washing that off. Thank you. I got the file. I don't know if you have a laser nice. or not, but I need a laser printer, so I can tell you what your laser printer makes. But then you can find the ink gel if you have that. Okay. And then I've got the pliers. You want them? No, it makes it too hard for me to walk around when I have that. It makes it too hard for me to walk around when I have that big of a How long were you out here? I'm going to say that the claim was to de-escalate. And I have a hard time understanding how six cops in a presence would de-escalate. I also have a hard time saying that I can call it 911 as much as I want and they won't give me a ticket for it. No. I was like, really? Yeah, I thought there was something called the 911 system, but yeah, it's federal, isn't it? I, I've heard of it, so I'm not sure where I've heard it. I'm not sure. Somebody could now, one thing we don't know if they're calling 911 or if they're calling... The non emergency well, number. Here, here's what happened with me. Yeah. So, when I called when that guy was walking around with the police coat on, yeah. the dispatch told me the only way to get a cop to show up anywhere is it's to call them. Okay. So, they have to be. Okay. Cool. So unless they have Sorry, let me put George in frame. Special, yeah. Unless they have some, something special going on, I'm going to ask you to run. Uh, you fly, did you fly up? Are you on the road? or? Uh, up and, uh, I do want to walk around a little bit because I haven't been down your block, so I know you do a good job of the tour. I'm kind of going to clear walk the best tour right now. Nice. So one of the things I wanted to point out, especially while we're online, somebody can get up and do two. Okay. Uh, T-Mobile works really good here. Verizon spotty. Yeah. And I have Spectrum. Okay. Yesterday, I did top to bottom. I walked from Evanston to Blue Island. Oh, you know, wow. it's funny you said it because I was born in Blue Island. Nice. How long of a walk is that? 24.2. <laughs> it's, it's, it's four beers long. <laughs> I'd say it'd be a lot more than four beers if I was walking through four miles, but that's the we, ha we have a friend that did every bar from top to It's like 63 or 67 bars, and they took it over three days. Well, you know what's funny is when I used to play rugby on the south side, yep. Celtic Lounge is probably still there. Uh, you know, the Southside uh, Parade for St. Patrick's Day. Some incredible stuff down there. Uh, but the point I want to make while we're standing here, yep. you guys are so on top oh, of things no. to be here. Children and Scientology. Uh, all right. Yes, oh, can I get a handout? Are you 
Can we get some? I got some for you. No? Okay, can you get some? Too bad we brought the children with them. Run away. Run away, little ones. Can we get some of your list and we'll give you ours? I think they're going to body route, so I do want to. I'm going to see if I can follow them. Hey, I'm going to be back. I'm sure they're going to start handing out, so I'm just going to give them a respectful distance, and I'm going to let people know that what they're getting. Great. But I, pr I promise to be back to talk about them next. Howdy, TCD. Uh, remember, I'm keeping a very respectful distance. Uh, the one person is walking very quickly. We've got another person who kind of is walking more slowly. You can see her off my angle. She's at least 20 feet ahead of me. And um, I'm walking on the curb between the street and she's walking in the sidewalk between the flower pots and the storefronts. Now, I don't want to go anywhere near the children because uh, it, yeah, is it the, the honeypot for criminal behavior? One hundred percent. But I can't. I would say this: I do not like to put pressure on people, and I don't want. I want to have every bit of evidence that shows I am not in any way stalking or threatening uh, these people. Yeah, I believe that if you had a thousand cops. Uh, respond to it, you'll get a thousand different responses as to what the law is and what, the, what you can and can't do. So I can see from afar that the pamphlet is about drugs uh, and what this drugs is going to say. Uh, what this drugs is going to say is right that people shouldn't take drugs or anything of that nature. And my statement, my response to anybody that this is handed out to is that Lisa McPherson lost her life because they wouldn't allow her to take the balancing medications that were required for her to have mental stability. They forced her out of the hospital AMA. Uh, that's against medical advice. And within a few days, uh, she went into crisis mode. Uh, she, we don't know whether or not she died in the hospital or if she died on the way to the hospital, but she was pronounced DOA at the hospital. So she's going up the street. She's going to hand out flyers to innocent victims up here. Uh, I'm going to follow the shorter blonde woman. Hi. She walked down the alley. I always like to be helpful.
uh, the moment she hands one off, I'll go and try and make contact with the person. You know, they have crosswalks. You can cross at the crosswalk. So I see the other one. She's trying to hand out. Uh, she's in the park, uh, Dearborn Park. Uh, My person doesn't have phone. Uh, I, I'm sure she has a phone. Doesn't have a phone to her ear. Okay, she just handed one off, so I'm going to go up and make contact with the person. Excuse me, sir. You know, that's the cult of Scientology. That flyer they just got was from Scientologists. I know, but it's from the science. They're, they're going to say that they're drug free, uh, but it was the cult of Scientology. Uh, okay. They won't let people take mental dr uh, drugs. So they let people fall into prey on this. Do you want that? <sighs> oh. Shameful. The deceptive marketing, right? So I said Scientology, and he goes, No, not Scientology. How you doing? The other one was behind me. No. Uh, we can see uh, the woman in the black coat is at the top of the street. Now they're gonna do phone tech, right? The org might call them back. Uh, I've got one behind me following me. So she walked behind that sign. I didn't know she was going to keep walking. There she goes. Oh, let me go contact them. Ladies, ladies, that's the cult of Scientology. You just. Okay. Can, do you mind if I take that? Can I have that? Okay. No problem. No problem. By the way, you know that they don't allow drugs, right? Yeah, we know. We live right next. I understand that. I just want to give you the crime. Uh. Notice the pin code on the on the left side. She wanted to come across, and then she saw me coming back, so she's not going to come across. Now, the good news is that those people did understand it was Scientology. See if I can make that light real quick.
the one in pink is still behind me, and it looked like she, so she was stopped at Congress for Ida B. Wells. Uh, but folks, here's also evidence, right, that they do want to push into the central business district, which is away from the church, um, to kind of get out of that zone. It's the cult of Scientology. It's the cult of Scientology. Those are Scientologists. They're part of the cult of Scientology. Oh, uh, don't take that stuff. So, uh, Spanish-speaking person. It's the cult of Scientology. You don't want that anyhow. Um, Stefan, what is the last word? Uh, Astafa, how, um, what does that translate to? Uh, she's going to pull her phone out to see if she should keep doing this. Now, the woman behind me, eh, not sure where she's gotten to. She didn't seem to come all the way up to this street. Uh, one thing that I'm going to do real quick is I think that my phone is going to be getting low, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to the worst mic, and I apologize for that. Can you hear me? Ah, okay, thank you. So both of those are, um, like, I assume secta is also sect. Uh, it is a sect. Uh, Estafa is also sect. Now, the downside is the one in pink, right? So they're going to be able to, oh, a scam. Nice. I like that. I want to make sure she doesn't leave any flyers in here. We're on Clark again, so if I was to go three blocks south, we would hit um, Scientology again. I am fairly disappointed that I haven't been able to pick one of these up yet. Thank you for the reminder, Erica. Thank you, Stefan. That helps a lot.
at this point, I'm, I'm really only going to get one of them to go back into the org. Um, I might have a chat. So George was going to say something significant uh, to me. So I want to see what, what he wanted to uh, let me know. Oh, no, she's not going back to the org. The blonde woman in pink, um, the last we saw her would have been, you know, you can see the, the BP sign kind of peeking out around the corner. Uh, at that corner, she was on the south side of that intersection trying to come north. Uh, and again, on this side, we're in the central business district. So this is historically what you would have heard of as the loop. Uh, whenever she does turn back to me, I wave. So to be as uh, unimposing as possible. This is interesting. She's walking down the alley that is the prison. So the prison is to my left. And uh, this is a parking garage. And in this parking garage, um, the uh, the people uh, who are girlfriends and wives, uh, they'll go up on the top of this and they'll do little strip tease shows for their uh, betrothed that are in here. So she's gone into the gas station here. Now there's two things going on uh, in here. She's telling a short story about this creepy person that's following her, or she's trying to see if they'll take some of her flyers. And I'll try to see if I can judge what her handful of flyers looks like when she comes out. Nice. I would say, as inside the org, we have very good understanding of what's going on in there. What we don't have a good understanding of is um, what they do outside the org. So all I'm really doing is kind of uh, following them to make sure that as they make contact with new potential victims, uh, that I'm able to uh, inform them of what the information is that they just received. Um, the other short story might be that, hey, give a back door so I can get out of here. How are you doing? We kind of took the long way. I showed her my part where I, I oh, take a mental health break. Nice. So I, the, I lost the pink coat. She, they split up a little bit. The pink coat looked like she went off this way. This That's is the, the other one. Um, I do want to, can go. you do me a favor? Can you go in there and ask if that woman just dropped off flyers? And if she did, let them know what that is. It's a drug flyer. It's a it's a flyer about drugs. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm going to sound like a real out of towner, but it's real skinny. That one is not. So those what are the that? prison. The, uh, so this is a prison right here. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> and this is um, so it's probably uh, like UHF VHF communications for the prison. Sorry, I need to. I want to stay on her. All right. Thanks. Okay. So uh, I was just told that she was buying cigarettes, that she purchased cigarettes while she was in there. I'm scanning pretty quickly just to see if I can tell where she went. Did she, you know, did she zigzag through the um, parking lot? So when she went in there, and sorry, I know that you're getting really bad sound right now. Um, you're hearing all of my background. When she went in there, she went in there to get cigarettes. Um, they do have a tendency to try to hide or squat uh, while I'm in there. So I just want to see 
where I can get wide angles of view. And if I don't see that she's gone anywhere, I'm going to work my way back towards the gas station. Yeah, I don't think she came up here. I think that she is up yet. <laughs> she's playing peekaboo back here. She just tried to uh, dip. I'm, I'm going to go on the sidewalk because if I go here, I'll be trapped close to her and I don't want to have that. So again, just write the, de the deceptive practices. Just kind of going up that civilians don't need to be on camera. No need to run. <laughs> I saw. <laughs> <laughs> I saw her, and I, I did see the big butt. So she okay. she walked out and she saw me turn around and she dipped right back in. Because uh -huh. I, I knew what happened is that she couldn't have gotten all the way up there. So when I got there, it's like, okay, wait, I don't see her. She hit. She was hiding by the wall nice. until she saw me and she went, oh. Nice. All right. Okay. Bye. You guys take care. You guys go, go grab a coffee? Sure. Yeah. So she's got the, uh, she's the black coat straight ahead of us. What she had done is she had wrapped around the back of the gas station. It's a really small building. It almost looks like uh, it's about the dimensions of uh, a mobile home. Asuna Secta, do you, do you know that, do you know who that is? English or Spanish? I'm from Venezuela. <laughs> so, Asuna Secta. Asuna Secta. Sorry. Asuna Secta. Uh, Estefano. Estefano? That woman? That's bad stuff. That, bad, bad. They lie. Uh, um, okay, as una secta, if that's all you need, as una secta, yes? I'm sorry, so, um, let's see here. Uh, folks, you might, I might lose you for a second. Uh, let me go on here. Spanish? Espanol. Spanish. I was able to use Google Translate and they fully understand what I said now. So, drogas. Oh, look what we found.
no, we are not done for the day. <laughs> I will get her back to the org. So these are the um, pamphlets that they're trying to pass out right now. Um, I will scan them in when I get back home. I want to be the person with the most of these in Chicago today. Uh, unfortunately, there is another router out here who, you know, they split up, so I couldn't follow both of them. Uh, thank you, MD Media. I really appreciate that. Are the police at the org right now? Wait, I need the, um, Amy, can you use the, the got em emoji? Oh, I found the other one. <laughs> so the other, uh, the other body router's right here. Chicago's prison. <laughs> but this one's federal. This one's federal, I think. Yeah. <laughs> What's really fun, there's a, um, a parking garage on the back side of this. Uh, you, can, well, you can't see up here. And then there's a taller, like, podium in the middle of it. It's like a superstructure. The girlfriends and wives. Oh, I saw a couple of videos. Yeah. That. <laughs> That's pretty cool. You. you have a great day. Yeah, we had a little bit of contact with police today. Um, yes, you can chalk. No, you can't chalk. Uh, I do want to get a better understanding of what the word mark means. Um, and I'm, I'm a little bit, I'll say bitchy about the idea that they said, um, somebody called the police department and said, uh, can I play hopscotch? If, if my child wrote hopscotch on there, would they uh, write me a ticket? And it's like, well, it depends. It's like, no, you either mark or you don't mark. So it doesn't matter what the content of, of it is, minus the fact of hate speech, right? Hate speech, it doesn't matter what the medium is if you're doing hate speech. Um, but if you're, um, there should be no difference on the idea that says, um, I've got uh, hopscotch markings on the streets or I've got um, First Amendment protest activity on the street. Ah, look at this. Now this one's paint. Oh, today is pink day apparently. Uh, the cult also tried to uh, hang a uh, illegal drone flight uh, on me, but it turns out it was not an illegal drone flight. And the city of Chicago has zero uh, ability to monitor the airspace. That is a federal aviation. So the FAA is the only one that can marshal airspace. The police can. Um, trespass a pilot if the pilot is on property. And uh, just a reminder, Chicago Park District is a place where you cannot stand and put a drone up. However, if you put a drone up on a public sidewalk outside the park, um, you 100% uh, can overfly the park. Um, earlier, I said peeping Tom, but what what would, uh, I don't know if it's a voyeurism law or, or what that would be if you look into somebody's bedroom window, um, but these are retail spaces. So um, highly unlikely that there's an expectation of privacy uh, in these spaces. Uh, 
Uh, the good news is, right, we've got both body routers um, wrangled in, so they're both heading back to the org. Uh, I'll walk down this side of the street, uh, just watching them kind of shrink back into the org. That's an interesting one. So one thing, it's kind of dangerous to have a drone up because um, depending on how small it is, right? The, the 250 drones, if they got hit by fireworks, um, they could be disrupted and that could easily crash. Um, but the other one is a lot of times uh, when there's a firework display going on, there will be a, um, a temporary uh, TPR, temporary uh, TFR, TFR, temporary flight restriction. Um, and in those situations, you can't put a drone up because that, and that is, you request a TFR from the FAA and they do or don't grant it. But when they grant it, that means that uh, that airspace would be a violation if you were in there uh, without um, some form of special permission to be there. Uh, we've got another uh, org member back here. Uh, Dempsey, something you'll see is I was able to, it was a challenge. Um, this is the flyer, but I've got the Spanish version of the flyer. That was Helgear. Helgear just drove by. Uh, we've had, we have had police contact a couple of times today. I'm going to go ahead and run across real quick. Uh, we've had police contact a couple of times today. Uh, they just sent some body routers out. Uh, she was able to hand them off to these four um, uh, people. I, they, I, uh, he said he was Venezuelan. So. Nice. <laughs> um, so these were the flyers that they're attempting to get out. Um, so this is, I assume, Spanish for drugs. There's also an English version. I wasn't able to capture an English version. Hello. Is that Orioles? Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. Come on. Orange and black all the way. All right, let's see. Oh, yeah. Can you, do you, can you speak Spanish? I okay. speak Spanish. So. Does anybody in my chat speak Spanish? And I'll bet you there's not going to be anything on there that says Scientology. Correct. Let's find out, folks. Yeah, so, right, these are the the um, the front groups. Yep, Foundation. We see the Los Angeles address there, Wilcox. Yep. There's also one in Clearwater, Foundation for a Drug-Free World. Nice. They do a big race called Say No to Drugs. Yep. And so few people realize what it is. Who we got some ideas this year to help people understand? Say no to what? Nice. You can have that one. Yeah. I'll uh, upload it to my computer. Puppy tech. Puppy cam. Uh, and I did see uh, our other friends. They were heading into the zone. Um, but I, I do have the two body riders back. Did you see anybody else walk out? Has anybody else walked out I yet? I haven't seen. It. Well, that those two women walked out, then they came back, yeah. and then the guy came back. They, they, they came back because I was. Um, you were trying to say something before I left. <laughs> I think we're talking about the vacant buildings. Yes. And so, you know, when you look around here and, and uh, Union Project and I were talking about it, in Clearwater, they own over 60% yep. of the downtown Clearwater properties and pay no taxes on the majority of the buildings. And the only buildings they do pay any taxes are the ones that they, uh, they treat as hotels. Gotcha. They make their people come in and pay big dollars. <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad it's not me. <laughs> That's why I had my Uber driver, Uber driver drop me off. Do nice. you mind telling me, sir, what a, what a parking ticket costs in Chicago? Uh, it depends on the location. Um, New York City. Yeah, so this one, right, had been empty. The, the, this was purchased at the same time. Uh, we had the, the financial crisis with um, real estate, mm -hmm. right? And people were flooding out of the city. Well, the church sitting on a $4 billion war chest, as well as the universities. The reason that all these universities have all these buildings, they had those huge endowments and they had huge cash and these buildings were on fire sale um, in that situation. Yeah. 
Well, this is their MO. They buy beautiful buildings, but yep. then there's so little activity, so little revenue generated. I want to ask you that. Yep. Now, uh, I that's not a cop. That is a um, uh, that parking is enforcement parking person. Enforcement. And th that's private. LA, LAZ is private parking. Yeah. Remember that um, Chicago sold its rights to its parking, uh, which was a terrible deal. We looked at it that after the first year of revenue, uh, from now on, for the next 75 years, they're just going to make profit and the city will not make a dime. Uh, the other worst thing about that is part of that contract was we can't lose a single parking spot. So the, the biggest struggle for us to put parking lanes in in Chicago is because that contract disallows us from removing parking spaces. So if a building is dilapidated and has a parking structure, you can't touch it? Uh, so a private parking structure, fine. They own metered parking on the street. Got you. I understand. Okay. So. Not that you don't have a parking problem in Chicago. Right. <laughs> they do. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's another thing I was going to bring up. What were you guys just talking about with uh, not parking or something else? The building, uh, purchasing buildings? Purchasing buildings. Tax, uh, that they're tax-free? Mm, no, it was something to do with Chicago specifically. Okay. And that, yeah. Um, oh yeah, so like in Clearwater, they're like eating up the, like we were just talking about um, on, on our stream. Like to put a perspective of Clearwater, he was saying that Clearwater was, oh, I'm going to get this wrong again, 100 and some thousand people living in Clearwater. Yep. And it's that's like, in a secta. Yeah, that's a cult. Yes. Like, I'm pretty sure he just gave me the finger. I'll have to go back and review the tape on that one. Oh no, not the finger. Hey, don't go in there, it's a cult. So uh, to get perspective, hundred and some thousand people, and you've seen the videos of them walking down to right. Saturday, yep. and uh, nobody Saturday there. night, and there's hardly anyone there. To give you perspective, there's a, a small town in the middle of nowhere in Wisconsin that's only about 12,000 people, and it is so busy, you cannot hardly yeah. walk down the street without getting bunched into by people. Absolutely, everybody wants to be out and socializing. Because they actually, like, everybody that pays to have a business on the main drag, they have to make profit because they have to pay taxes. Correct. And that, that's one of the biggest things is it's like, if they're not paying taxes on those businesses because it's owned by a Scientology business, does that, does that transfer to the business itself? Like, they don't pay taxes on the building. The business is paying taxes. The business is, now, even if but it's a Scientology Even if it's a Scientology, uh, well, it depends. If the if, a, if it's a revenue-generating Scientology business, yeah. like the hotel, mm -hmm. the, the Scientologists own that. Okay. Um, but it is a hotel business, and therefore they pay taxes on the business. So the revenue that the hotel generates, they pay for. So, in other words, if they only charge their parishioners five bucks... Whatever tax on five bucks is, is what they'd end up Yeah, paying. so they can charge whatever they want. And then they can deny you because you're not a Scientologist. Correct. And they're only paying on a very small amount of revenue. Yeah. So I need to, can you hold this for just one second? Sure. Sorry. Um, I need to, uh, I'm going to recharge my. Can the cam? <laughs> <laughs> you're seeing infinity right now, aren't you? Yeah. Hey, can we, is that, does that work that way? I don't think so. No, we need a mirror. Uh, I'm going to put my mic receiver. My mic receiver will only go for about three hours. Uh, so while I've got the phone regenerating, I'm going to let I'm going to have to get microphone. information off camera about that with you. Yeah. I just got this thing and I love it. I don't know if it's... Oh, it's the same one you have. Yeah. Um, I'm, I feel horrible because I wrecked my old one not realizing because I don't read. And if Liz Ferris, if you're watching this, I apologize because she gave me that one. But I didn't realize that if you put it on to charge... Once it's charged, you better take it off because you'll wreck the battery, and I totally yeah. wrecked the battery. And ah. It was totally screwed up. Now, one of the things that, the reason I do this mm -hmm. is so that it's just always getting a constant charge as it's going through there, and I'm still pretty mobile, right? Yeah. I, think that's what's going I mean, this thing, I can't believe how much it lasts, how long it lasts. Uh, that's interesting. So, so Declare Dave uh, also reminds us that the, the building that the hotel is in, yeah. that is taxed. Because oh, okay. that's not a tax-free building. It, oh, because it's a hotel. But let's say it was a building that had Scientology on top and retail space here. I got gotcha. you. Then the building is still free from. So, in other words, because it's a Scientology hotel, 
and if that's all it is, they don't get taxed. But they do get taxed on oh, it. Oh, they do. They do get taxed on that because the only thing it does is operates as a hotel. Gotcha. If it was 90% church and 10% retail, okay. there might be a different uh, structure. And we have no way of knowing if they've got right. other stuff going yeah. on. Welcome back. Welcome back. I can't see very much. Welcome back. All right. Um, I'm going to go around back real quick, see if there's any activity. Okay. I'll be right back up front. Yep. Hopefully, we'll be back soon. Yeah. I don't know where George was. He's right up there. He's got an interview right up there. Hey, Jason. 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 Hey,
uh, now I'm going to say I'm not tall. Uh, that person was tall, and I would have always imagined Duvall is not quite that tall. But he absolutely had that look about him. Yeah, it'll be a fake fire call soon. <laughs> Is it, wasn't there um, something like an airplane movie once? where uh, a guy says, this is my smoking jacket, and the jacket was exuding smoke. Uh, we're up on Harrison. I'll just punch right over to Clark. Head back down. <laughs> my other body router just walked into either subway or um, uh, subway or Pat's Pizza. Oh, lunchtime, right? So that makes perfectly good sense. Um, if you've been on the, the channel before, there is a little, oh, you can't see it because it's, um, there's too much glare on the, the sun right now, but there's a, an old printing press, um, place in there, uh, which has the movable type. So yeah, they come in here to, to dunk, I'm sorry, to Subway to grab their sandwich. No problem. And it can double as the same Bob Ferris tree. Oh. Yeah, we've just been talking about this. Hey, do you have anything good to say about the church? No answer, Bill. In fact, you did very well. You passed. Nothing good to say about it. You're going to have to pay $100,000 for the next now. We'll help you. So. I went around back. There was a guy out there smoking when I was down at the bottom of the alley. He said, he'll go back in by the time I get there. Uh, went past the garbage can. Garbage can's locked. Stickers are still on it. Um, then the a next guy comes out and he lights a cigarette. And I just said, anything positive to say about the church? He pinched the cigarette, put it in his pocket, walked back in. So. <laughs> uh, do you mind watching this stuff until they come back? I just yep. wanted to take him around and show yep. him that. Absolutely. Yep. Sure. Yeah, we went through a tour. I've got the camera up. We've got a couple of people walking past. So, uh, earlier today, right? So, uh, this is the old, was it Rush 2112? Hello. Anything positive to say about the church? That was the most smiley I've ever seen her. These people can turn on the charm when they want to turn on the charm. Um, Sorry. So this was back in my day, Rush had an album and that used to say Rush. So I just put C-A-C-U-L-T uh, on there and then Earth is a Prison Planet. Thank you. Should women be able to report sexual abuse against them? This church won't allow women to report sexual abuse, but you're still walking in there. You're supporting them. Don't get me side eye, lady. Support is support. And you just heard that they don't allow women to report sexual abuse or crimes against them. Lunchtime for the youngins. They're heading over to Paisans. 
um, she was, she knew enough that, hey, I'm not a member, so therefore it doesn't matter that they support or they don't let women report crimes, but I can go support them because women aren't allowed to support, uh, aren't allowed to report crimes. Nice. She was giggling at the uh, the pink flamingo with the cult. I brought the camera in there, don't worry. I don't know if that was seen on camera or not, but yeah, she definitely was giving me side eye. We are starting to get, uh, it, the sun has come out uh, earlier. It was a little bit, I was getting a little bit chilly. Um, part of it might have been the idea that my hands were a little bit wet from the water that uh, they were bringing out. Um, you can still see some of the early chalk that I put over here. So, right, uh, I put cult on here a couple of times. Uh, they washed it off several times. Um, again, uh, they put their cigarettes out on, their, on the sidewalk all the time. So, uh, the most ethical people in the planet, except for they won't let women report sexual abuses against them. I'm not sure how that makes you ethical, but it does make you a Scientologist. Some sarcasm intended. Uh, Ashley, are you, is it San, I know it's California. Is it San Francisco? Right. <laughs> right. Officer, I didn't use a weapon that sent a projectile into that person and made them unalive. I merely paid the person who had the weapon that sent a projectile into that person and made them unalive. I'm fully innocent. Ashley, I'm, I'm pretty sure that Ashley was out there uh, when, um, when DOA was getting harassed by the San Francisco cops. Um, she got down there very quickly uh, and made sure that the, I, I know that other people on the street had turned the camera around but she was helpful in that space as well, making sure that uh, there were eyes on DOA uh, as the incident was occurring. Thank you so much, Ashley. Kind of just looking up and down the street. Um, we did see another person come out and uh, another uniformed staff member come out. And that uniformed uh, staff member escorted uh, a person who had civilian clothes on down to the end of the street uh, with her with his hand on her lower back. Um, and it's really, hey, let's get you out of the zone. We don't need you hearing uh, what the protesters had to say. More lunchtime folks over there.
Yeah, I think that's amazing how easy it is for people to recognize that something wrong is going on. When George and uh, Jay come back out, uh, I will probably take off my sweatshirt. That's getting a little bit warm for me. We've got some more students coming by. We're here at the Church of Scientology, Chicago, 650 South Clark Street. I don't know who, who just peeks out. I don't. So somebody just peeked out this door. Uh, and oftentimes when you see that reaction, it's somebody trying to get past the protesters or it's a body router trying to get out. Joe Sakala heading over to lunch with his teammates. Joseph Kala is the executive director. Uh, he is a junior, so Joseph Kala Jr. Uh, I'm sorry, he is the third. So it's uh, he. I think they call him Joseph Kala Jr., but he's the third. His father is Joseph Kala Senior Jr. Sorry, Joseph Kala Jr. And his father is uh, the financial partner of Dream Exchange, uh, which the other partner is uh, a person of color, thereby granting them the the ability to say they are the largest uh, minority-owned uh, exchange in the U.S. If you look at Dream Exchange's um, leadership page, you'll notice that the vast majority of them have completed courses in Scientology. Um, some of them are clear, uh, actually, in that space. Uh, I 100% know that they have. Uh, if you look at, it's going to be around March 10th. Um, there's a video that says uh, something about Columbia recruiters or Columbia College in the title. And you'll see that I approached the org and there were 10 uh, college age kids that were also approaching the org. And as they approached the org, there was a staff member greeting them. They all walked inside. Chadwick came out to lure me away from the door. He said, hey, you want to have an interview? And he walked up the street uh, to pretend that he was going to grant me an interview. I walked about two buildings up, or two, yeah, two doorways up, and I said, okay, fine, this is BS. Uh, so I turned around, and immediately what had occurred is a group of three members came out of this door and went straight in that door. Not only did they go in that door, they used their own badges to go into the building. So they had the paraphernalia or the literature of the church, and they had been indoctrinated into the church. Um, I've seen one of them several times since then, but yes, there are people in this church. Um, Izzy is somebody who I think that she, uh, she says that she's a student at Columbia College. Izzy lives in this building right here. Um, Izzy is a young female. She was there that night uh, that the recruiters were out. She had done... Um, uh, she had completed her H HCO uh, courses, so I feel like at that point she's doing um, indoctrination uh, through the HR realm. So HCO is partly HR, and the idea of did she do all of her, um, yeah, minority control of my butt, but yeah, I understand what you're saying. <laughs> um, Just looking down the street. Here's the person that did a lot of the bucket. He was the the soldier when the senior staff member said, "Hey, go get that uh, chalk off the sidewalk."
By the way, there were six other people that were here that night. I was here by myself. And it's the biggest reason why I asked for more people to come out here. Um, if you can come out here to the front door, I can go to the back door and catch people who are trying to get out the back door. And they do that a lot. Um, you'll notice that body routing wise, um, when I chase them in the front door, um, they'll go out the back door and they'll try and go up the hall, the alleyway. And then I'll catch them at the top of the alley and they'll turn back and, and head back to the org uh, in that space. So really my objective is to crush the stats of the people that are trying to bring people into the org. Uh, I, I want them to have no new raw meat. She had just mentioned that it is a cult. You're right. Not sure if you're hearing that. Oh, on this phone, you probably do hear almost everything that's coming around. You know, I really don't like that term. And I, I don't know what, if it's new victims, because they're not victims yet, uh, new candidates. Um, but just that idea that says, hey, they're, they're the people that are, you know, the, the fresh blood trying to get into the organization. Um, yeah, when George gets back, I want to see if we can get down the other two streets. We're at lunchtime right now. So when I, uh, I was just in the alley at uh, the top of the hour, so it's 12 o'clock. It's now 12, 18. Um, we should start seeing, uh, oh, this isn't my body router. This is Looks to be a different young gentleman uh, of color. Um, he just left Subway. You know, he's finished his lunch. He's going to come back to New York. Uh, but my expectation is he's going to be out here for the, the cult. Anything positive to say about the church? Has the church given you any gains? There is a woman coming up the street in her Sunday best. She looks amazing. So I'll give a and I think that we've got uh, Frizinu and George at the top of the street. You know, this is a cult. They have nothing to do with Christianity. That's why I'm going to the Lord's city All right. They won't allow women to report sexual abuse against them. R-A, so R-A-P-E. Danny Masterson's in jail for 30 years right now. The three victims were members of the church. The church disallowed them from telling the police for 20 years. When they finally did tell the police, they were excommunicated from the church. They call it disconnection. That's the kind of work that this human trafficking cult does. He is, yeah. Tom Cruise, John Travolta, Kirstie Alley was a member of the church. Um, Laura Papon is a member of the church. They don't, they don't like that you listen to me. They don't like facts. They're afraid of this. So she's gonna go fix them. Uh, one sec, I'm going to put your vertical for a second. I just want to see where my battery's at. Uh, a couple things. So we've seen the staff member come in. Remember lunchtime. So when I came back, they were all leaving for lunch. Yeah. Um, we just had a woman in her Sunday best, and she had a crystal, looked like a, an award or a trophy in the shape of a cross. Okay. She, in her, she looked like, you know, uh, 
Easter Sunday best walking through the parade type thing. Um, I told her, you know, this is a cult. They said, yes. As soon as that, that's a cult. Get your purification in. Um, the, she then said, it's a cult. I know I'm going to go and try to help them understand Christianity. I said, they have no understanding of Christianity. Then I said that they want to let women report abuses against them. And they said, what kind of abuses? And I said, R-A-P-E. Um, then she said, what? And I said, um, Danny Masterson, right? And the three victims. And for 20 years, the church wouldn't let those women come forward. When those women did come forward, they were excommunicated or disconnected from the church. And that's what this church, that's what this cult is all about. And then somebody from the staff came out and brought her in. Whisked her away. You now got in her head about yep. what's actually happening. She got body rotted in Yeah. Um, there was another woman that came and, and I'm gonna, they were black women. Um, that, that another woman came in and I said, hey, they won't let women report sexual abuses against them. She goes, I'm not a member, like, but you're going to go in and support them. And she gave me the nastiest side eye. They like to say I'm not a member, yeah. but they really are. And it doesn't matter if you're a member or not. Why are you going in? You're there? giving them money. You're giving them credibility. You're platforming them. I mean, if I had a business on this street and it said, like, human traffickers, would you go in? Right. <laughs> no, I don't think so. All right, I'm going to put this down for just one second, and I'm going to I'm going to put my mics back in. Um, what I was thinking about doing is, if we if you want to, we'll walk the next two streets. Sure. I'll give you an, uh, show you that. Um, what I'm going to ask is, if you do see body robbers come out, you know, let your chat know to, to hop over and, and find me. Is that the only phone you got on you? It is. Okay. Um, but it, uh, you can text me if you text me. Um, well, you'll see it. It'll okay. it'll show up. I'm gonna put this bag down a little bit and, and rehook up you my mic. Set all your I was gonna say, if you wanna take the battery out of it and just set it here, I'll, I'll keep track of it. Nice. Uh, here, let me put this here for a second. Oh. I was gonna do that with uh, corn and them, but I wasn't sure how long they were gonna be, and I know that uh, I wanted to take your around back. Yeah, we got to see the yeah, alley. Talk it's awesome. Awesome. No problem. I did that wrong. I need to pick that up with my other hand or put it in the front here. Folks, I'm going to switch my mic real quick. All right. Hopefully you can hear that again.
Yeah, I'm going to say that this, this it gives them credibility. You're lending them your credibility when you walk in there as a, a Christian or a, any other religious person. Um, and listen, I'm not here to argue about are, are all religions bad or all religions good. Um, this one is just uh, a religion that actively seeks criminal activity and protects their members uh, from criminal activity. And they are a multi-level uh, scam in, in this regard. And I know it's not multi-level. You only get paid for one level. Um, but it's a pay-to-play organization. Yeah, I'll bet they're not doing a live show of it, though. <laughs> Uh, skateboard boy uh, taking his lunch back over to Imprint. Ready for a tour? Yes. All right. There, it, it could be anything. I'm ready for the tour. Okay. We'll be back. When, when did you leave Chicago? 1972 to go to college, and then 77 down south. Okay, so, so yeah, a long time. Th you would have this. You knew this as a, a tough neighbor. It, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, like I, if you went to the Bears game, you never came across the tracks, right? Uh, well, we used to take the train everywhere. We lived down the up the train line, far south side, so we could jump the tracks and go to the museums, and we yeah. could come down to Soldier Field. My high school won a city championship at Soldier Field one year. Cool stuff like that. And that's why I don't want anything to happen in any part of Chicago like they've done in Clearwater Florida. Absolutely correct. Yep. Oh, I might have to put the juice. Can I see the juice bar? Yeah, there's a juice bar. Uh, it's the one that says green at the bottom. Uh-huh. So I might have to stop that. This is all residential now, right? It used to be Printer's Row, but it was burned out. Not burned out, actually, but um, dilapidated or... Um, Buildings, manufacturing buildings, just went into state of disrepair, mm -hmm. uh, and then it somebody decided they want to gener gentrify this neighborhood, and it's just amazing how much residential space there is in here, and they're still building. That and this is called South Loop. Correct? South Loop. South Loop. Well, it's, yeah, Printers Row is the specific area, but it is a subset of South Loop. Mm -hmm. And do you know if this is the second what? ward? You know the ward. It's the thirty fourth. It's the thirty fourth ward. Thirty fourth ward. It's got to be near the second ward. I think second ward it is the United Center. Yeah, well, second, second's up there. First is over here. Um, like, first is the museum campus in that area uh, down there. The police department is about four blocks this way. You'll be at the back of the police department uh, on Clark, and then it actually, the front of the police department is on State Street, at 18th and State Street. So the buildings on, the, on State Street and the parking lot is in the back. This area is called Dearborn Park, and it's beautiful. Um, you can get into it as a pedestrian from about six different ways, but by vehicle, there's only one way to get into there. So it's you know, it's it's a very nice, quiet. Is the park surrounded by residential? Is that what yeah. you're saying? Yeah. yeah. So it's it's residential on all four sides. Um, yeah. Thank you. Hey guys. Howdy. Yes, it is. The um, the body routers. You know, a lot of people were saying, and early on, they probably thought we'll just be able to walk on Clark Street and, and hand out stuff to people. But we definitely prevent that when we're here, right? And when we're not here, we don't know what goes on. Um, but they go. You know, this morning those women went all the way into the Central District, so they went north of Congress uh, at some point. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah. Um, la, 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 we're talking, la, 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 la. and I did get a strike on. Well, not a strike, uh, whatever the you know. Yeah. Uh, I can't monetize on one of the videos once. Yep. Um, that. No problem. So even the, the bagels that you see there, uh -huh. those are made here. So. Um, early in the morning on a Sunday, you'll see them. So this is half sour. It used to be called Blackies um, uh, in this place, but there, um, there's a, almost everything is made in house at that place. Right. All right. And we are headed east. Am I got that right? Correct. Yep. 
uh, Dearborn Station, right? It's it's not been a train station. Oh, nope, that's not. No. Stuck right there. They had that in front of the church the other day, though. It, it seemed to be a Christian organization. Um, Dearborn Station, this used to be where the trains would come in, but now all of these trains go into LaSalle Street, uh, which is just behind the Ort. Uh, if, we, if we look backwards, that train structure, mm -hmm. right, that's going over the street, yeah. that is the south end of the... LaSalle Street Metro Station. It's like the station itself is over there. And we do, I've seen people coming out of there. I love my, the birdies. My brother and I, our first jobs, he was seventh grade, I was sixth grade. We sold newspapers at the Van Buren Station. Nice. So the, that, right, you can see that there's the park behind here, mm -hmm. uh, over here. Nice. And then they've got two floor condos at the bottom end, and then you see the apartment structures on the far side there. This the only real frontage on this street is where the mailbox is, the green mailbox. Uh -huh. That is the entrance to this building. Um, but for the most part, this is all the backside of other buildings, right? Um, so there's never really any foot traffic uh, on this street. Um, it's, it's always on Clark or on Dearborn, which is ahead of us. I do have a tendency um, I'm not putting the camera in a lot of people's faces, but sure. if you're not, the, the students get really stressed. And again, they live their life on camera and I don't sure. want to keep putting them in that. Um, we'll often, they'll often be over here on Dearborn Street. Um, this again, just retail centric, everything here. That just recently went under the, um, where you see the orange signs over mm -hmm. there. That used to be, uh, I think a Flaco Taco uh, was what theirs was. A uh, little grocery store, beautiful upstairs apartments there, right? So that's that's a private residential patio nice. right there in the, in the middle of the south. Of the well, when we do Clearwater, we always show Tom Cruise's apartment. Yeah, nice. <laughs> He's got the uh, killer penthouse right there on the water. That is awesome. Yeah. There's <clears throat> rumors that him and Dave are there quite a bit. We can't seem to catch him in action. No. Does it have um, a subterranean entrance? Like, a, do you drive down into a garage? Or, or yeah, they can drive into a garage space so they don't need to um you don't see them from what we understand not only does he drive in but then the elevator takes his car up to his that's apartment. awesome <laughs> he doesn't even get out of the apartment garage he just is totally insulated from anybody being able to see him or, uh, speaking of. uh so this must be a piece of site yeah i was wondering if that's yeah. like no foot but it's, it's it's kind of across the board so they're a general wellness center they can do physical or mental um, health in that space. This one is new. Um, this grocery bodega bakery is new. Uh, and then you've got the uh, the bookstore. This bookstore, you can get one of a kind books in here. Um, you know, the, the rare first editions and all of that kind of stuff. Uh, you're you're going to spend up for it, but that's kind of what's on here. Sure. This used to be the engraving building. So you, you would have seen, um, if you saw engraving in the old books, Right, the, the nice letters on the first page and all of that stuff. This is a space that you would have seen that um, in there. Yeah. Very good. Um, isn't our, our Donnelly one of the biggest? I think they were one of the biggest producers yeah. of uh, books. Correct. And they were the so the phone book was always produced by them as well. And since once the phone book went away, they stopped. Um, sharing from down here. Yes, yeah, just another industry that's seen drastic changes. This is kind of a neat park. If you look at the um, the benches, uh -huh. can you tell what those are showing? Food house, pew house, yeah. pew house. Please. So they're printing blocks, right? It's movable. They're all movable print. <laughs> yeah, now I see. So there, there's a, a block missing there, right? With the big D on it. Which I love that they keep the, you know, that the neighborhood theme is being maintained. 
there's oftentimes there'll be um, a vegetable market here on a Saturday. Yeah, green space is a premium in the city, right? Absolutely. So this is awesome. Now it is, it's codified though. So um, anybody who does any kind of new development, there is a requirement that a percentage of it uh, is green space. They're now leaking into the idea that roof can be green space. Uh, like one of the things that's really interesting is the old post office. Uh -huh. It's the largest green space garden on a rooftop. Wow. How good, thanks. Absolutely. There was a, you know, I, I wish I would have told Marilyn this or reminded Marilyn of this. There's a, just a, a good anonymous neighbor who does this type of thing on signposts, on stop signs, on just everywhere. And she'll make little characters out of it and just leave them around. So for a year, we used Is to keep cloth? on seeing that. Yeah, so oh, okay. she just put yarn, It's she's knitted that process. Very cool. Um, and of course, according to the police, that would be illegal because that's marking of the face, huh? Yeah. Um, you know, somewhere they've got to draw a line, I guess, and it comes down to us. Yes. Yeah. We're seeing another one of the Christian signs over there. Yeah. In the, uh, well, down in Clearwater, the, the Jehovah's Witnesses set up in front of yeah. the Church of Scientology. That's awesome. Welcome, <laughs> uh -huh. So we have Jehovah's Witnesses a lot here, um, but they're just less aggressive. The way that I've always expressed it is they put out their, their tripod with all the flyers on it, mm -hmm. but until you went to go pick something up, or if you didn't ask them a direct question, they just stand around all day. Yeah. Whereas the Scientologists are much more active in the idea that they want to um, hand out or pass off stuff. Uh, so great upscale Italian restaurant, little Mexican restaurant next door. Hey guys, I love Italian food. Yes. Yeah. Going that is an Italian neighbor in Chicago. That's yeah. why. And that is not spaghetti and lasagna. That's Italian food. <laughs> Uh, the tequila bar, so theirs is, uh, yeah, this is a, a happy hour-ish place. Yeah. All right, we'll keep on talking for here. Um, and then the transportation building, this used to be the administrative building of the transportation spaces, um, but now it's all residential. Yeah, you got everything. Oh yeah. On uh, the highway, yeah, that's why. And you had on the at the bottom of uh, Clark was the sushi place, and then half sour is let's say um, upscale bistro, mm -hmm. uh, a pub upscale pub more than bistro. Yeah, and uh, we don't want that happen through or happen here. Through on there, you see forty to fifty restaurants downtown. Now you can come on. Yeah, I think the only protection here about that is the idea that these are such commercially viable spaces that you, the church would have to pay top dollar to to really move some of these landlords out. They don't have any problem doing it. They Correct. pay three to four, five times uh, the market rate. That's ridiculous. Uh, yeah. Clear water, and there's not much we can do about it. Except for their crimes. Yeah. 100% true. So, so this is boutique hotel on this side and residential on the far side. So the HB hotel, um, you walk in right where the white building is, but almost all of these floors above the ground are part of that hotel. Then one of the things I love about the city is all of the graffiti uh, that's out there. You know, yesterday, we were walking Western, we just, we just saw so much graffiti. So, um, the next street over, is so as, as we look down here so that building right there that's college dormitory uh, dormitory is not right there because you pay it's more like an apartment but it is you got you have to be a college student to be in that building of a particular college or a college no, student? any college because there's so many that are down here yeah um and uh the back side of that you'll see is roosevelt university and also columbia colleges uh got uh, some buildings that are over there yeah. columbia college has a photographic uh, museum that's on State Street right here. Uh, the building that's ahead of us on the other side of the Immigration Court uh, House of Parking. Uh, if you want to go ahead and 
short yeah. trust. And that's uh, uh, some college prep. I heard you talk yep. about that before. Yeah, so Jones College Prep is one of the um, most sought after uh, magnet schools. So uh, usually you have to make a choice as to which magnet you want to try and test into. This is most people's first choice. Um, I'm, I've not seen directly them really doing any recruiting uh, right in front of the high school. Um, that, that doesn't mean they don't, right? I'm, I'm here for two hours a day. What's happening in those other times? Who knows, right? Do you have to come in from far away? Uh, no, during the day I can get here really quickly, and that's one of the reasons why you know my phone number is kind of on record. Sure. Um, what is that? So that is the Harold Washington Memorial Library. That is the main library for Chicago. It used to be up in the Cultural Center at the top of Grant Park, um, but I love that you know the Gremlin uh, copper work on the top of that building. Sure is gorgeous. And at night it's so lit up, just beautiful. And if Scientologists buy that book, we name that soon. Correct. Yes. Beautiful. Um, we're again seeing just residential, so condo-ish uh, in that space, condo-ish in this space. Down this street is condo-ish as well, but at the very bottom of this street on the left-hand side, that is another location where we know that we've got some Scientologists living. And there's something over here on State Street they're living in. I just haven't figured out where it is yet, but I'll, I'll see them over there on, on State Street quite frequently. State Street, that great street. Yes. <laughs> yeah, cool. Good comments, cool buildings. Yes. Great tour. Thank you. Love it. Absolutely love it. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Hey, go on the go. Good to see you. Make sure you guys got the Blue Lee City Payton Watch also. Doing a great job down here. We've already had two police encounters. We're finding out that even though chalk is um, it's allowed, it's legal, they're finding ways to say, well, maybe not for us. They don't want us to escalate. Right. All right. Shall we walk back? We can do that. Excellent. So the 7-Eleven is another very frequent place that I'll catch them. Well, they'll dive in there if I've, I'm kind of blocking them from body routing. They'll go in there and just wait until I walk away. Um, but it's also uh, a place where you'll see they're having they'll they'll purchase in here and then they'll go down to the park and eat. Which, by the way, hey, that's a good call right? mm-hmm. on yeah. your forty-seven dollars a week. Uh-huh. Well, especially with the price of cigarettes. Yeah. Because <laughs> you know one of L. Ron Hubbard's great quotes: "Cigarette smoking doesn't cause cause cancer. Not smoking enough does." Absolutely, I love that. One. Yeah. Hey, you know what? And they can't change anything he's ever said. They have to live by it, unless you're Dave well, Savage. They have to live by it or die by it. Yes. We'll see another one of my favorite artifacts of the the neighborhood coming up here. I think I'm starting to see it. Is it black? <laughs> yes, it is. All right. See, my family are all factory workers down on the south side of the city. Yeah. Everybody was either at a paint factory or a steel mill, international harvester, those kind of things. Yeah, my uh, my family was Pullman. So this is just a pr- it's a printing press. So this is the old printing press, uh, and this one is out of Ohio, Chandler and Price. If we look at it from this side, right, earlier you would have seen in the park we talked about that movable type. What'll happen is that they'll put the movable type down right here on this surface. I don't know if you're seeing that uh, on it. You'll see, they'll put the movable type down there. Excuse me. And remember, they have to put it in reverse order. And usually it was an apprentice that would do that all day long. They'd, they'd go off of a script and they'd put that in there. So that's sitting right here. And then they'll put a clean sheet of paper up here. And with that clean sheet of paper, they'll move this lever that's on this wheel and it'll come forward and it'll press down. It'll create the impression. They'll pick it up, remove the piece of paper, and here comes the next piece. And that was super fast, right? I mean, that was incredible. That you know, now we do 500-page jet, inkjet printers uh, out here. They're probably doing one page a second, uh, or one page every 15 seconds. And remember, they have to keep on blotting that movable type. So the ink isn't forever, 
uh, you know, they get maybe 10 pressings and then they've got to re-ink the, uh, the process. It was just, it was a mechanical labor. This is the uh, illegal alley, right? The, the private alley. The private alley, this is where a lot of the, uh, okay, now, yeah, I see it. And then the Dunkin' Donuts is back over here. Correct, yep. Um, and then you can, the bank has this black fence. You can see the black fence down there on the south side. Mm -hmm. And then just over it is uh, a little parking lot as well. And that's where a lot of the protesters have kind of peeked through. And that's when Sean came through and kind of pressed everybody back and got the police to press into service and saying, I'm going to violate their rights. Wow. Sean was the landlord or the... Uh... Sean's just a, he is a person, he's the one that Natalie talks about. Um, he used to change, her, uh, she used to change his diapers. And he was a floating um, Scientologist. So I don't know if he's Sea Org or if he's OSA or whatever, but he, he's not a Chicagoan. He came in for the event and he seemed to have taken up all the authority of I'm gonna help subvert the uh, the police and and feed them into how they should be enforcing our laws. This light is a tough one. Long? Yeah. Well, twelve seconds. It'll be a little bit longer because the they're gonna let left turn come from our back. Sometimes I abide and sometimes I don't. So, yeah, I've said this before, and I don't think a lot of people remember it, but um, there is the Tom Cruise line from one of his first big movies. This is a target-rich environment. Yeah. I love it. Uh, here's a sign I've done with the Tom Fitz. It's like it's a little bit too fair. Yeah. <laughs> um, when we get down this way, if I can ask you to hold my grimoire. Absolutely. Then I can choose that because I'm going to run into I am fine for right now. If I do too much beverage, we, we have that secondary <laughs> problem. <laughs> that comes uh, uh, but yeah, by the way, um, the train station, which is right here, it's a block over this way, yeah. uh, does have public restrooms. Uh -huh. You can maybe get into some of these stores, but they're kind of sticklers about it. Yeah, I'm a living cop, so I think I can use the restroom on supporting their booth. I see what you mean by target rich environment. A lot of young folks. Yeah. And, and even if it wasn't just the young folks, the the residents of here, you know, people will always say, well, everybody knows about Scientology. They really don't. No. So few people understand, even that, you know, even Scientology exists, so few people understand. Then there's the idea that, oh, it's got crazy philosophies. And then there's crimes. And the number of people that really understand that is so minimal. Yes. All right. Thank you. George is going to go ahead and grab some beverage. Howdy, everybody. Oh, you can't. Oh, wait. Can you hear me or not? On, uh, on George's. So, uh, George is up from Clearwater today, coming back to his old stomping grounds here in Chicago. Uh, give you a little bit of a scan of the imprint apartment complex and then right next to it uh, on the building that uh, houses first draft uh, Scientology was able to purchase or lease the sign uh, and they have the ability to uh, you know, they're, they're, they've got plenty of money to do that kind of work so I hate it now the downside is that hey it's they spent a lot of money to try to get people who are in a car to walk across the street. Um, I'm not sure how effective that is. I still don't like it being there. Right. Oh, and I'm sorry, I'm I'm watching George's chat. I'm not sure if we've got stuff going on our side. Yes, George is surrounded by, uh, surrounded by Scientology. Um, and he is from Clearwater. Uh, I saw Heli Gear. Um, I knew that she was, I, uh, I knew that she was coming, um, and, uh, I did see her arrive. She's another, uh, one of the fearless women. Remember she was, she and Corn and Juanita, uh, were out here waiting for, uh, Nancy to be released, uh, from jail after the false accusations, uh, because remember 
the police don't want to escalate things. Uh, and by evidence of not escalating things, we had six police out here earlier because of chalk on the sidewalk. They were inside for 45 minutes, maybe an hour, uh, talking to Scientology when the only thing they really wanted to tell Scientology was, oh, by the way, we might think that it is illegal to chalk out there because of the word mark. Um, I would say that deface would be aptly correct because a defacing is a permanent uh, affect on that process. Uh, I don't think that we were uh, marking and... Uh, thank you, Ashley. Um, since I'm holding both phones, I can't press anything. Uh, the person in orange down there, she has been in the org several times today. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to, yep, we did see her walk in. She was the one that was escorted away uh, by the uh, a gentleman Scientologist in his suit earlier today. Howdy, Sally. Um, hey, Patrick, I see you're working overtime. Thank you. Did you see our uh, the other billboard up here? Uh, which one? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Serious? Yeah, but nobody will tell me anything about it, except lots of movies I've watched and stuff, you know? Correct. <laughs> well, half of what I want, the other half doesn't. Yes. It's not going to be. Right. I think we have two visitors here. Yeah, I'm not going to ask you about Okay. Howdy, Sally. Thanks for coming in. Watch those you know ones. We don't want to keep swiping so it looks like the ladies went and uh, figured out a way to get some poster board. So now that we can have some freestanding signs uh, out here. Great job. Let me press in a little bit here. They got body routers. They got ED. They've, they've locked out the ED. How does the ED not have that? Yeah. Free. Yeah, right. <laughs> this, uh, bridge to total freedom. This word freedom, I'm not sure you understand what that means. All right, we did just see um, a group of people head in. Uh, now again, there's gonna be a claim that they are going in for worship. It's an absolute BS claim. Now, I can't say to the police, go in there and prove it to me. Um, that's not really how that law gets enforced. They can claim whatever they want to claim uh, in, in that space. We know it's bullshit, um, but great. Even if it was, and by the way, uh, ACLU has knocked down that law for quite some time. Chicago used to disallow you from protesting within 50 feet of a church. Then it was from 50 feet of a church when um, session, if they, if they were in a service. Uh, and then the ACLU said, no, can't do it at all. Anything positive to say about church? Well, she kept her stone face, she wins. Uh, we're just heading down. I want to peek in the back. Um, me stopping them from smoking isn't a great deal, but just to show them that, hey, your quality of life sucks because you choose to be in this cult. And I am going to come back here and I am going to shorten your smoke breaks whenever I can. I am going to make it very difficult for you to recruit new people. Uh, this morning, there were two uh, ladies that left the church and they had some flyers that were uh, about drugs. 
uh, I followed them, and uh, as they were handing them out, um, you know, I would let the people know what they were getting into, uh, and that those flyers don't say anything about Scientology. They did talk about the headquarters, you know, the front group headquarters, both in Clearwater uh, as well as um, uh, in L.A. Huh. Let's see how long this guy stays out. He did go get coffee and he's got a cigarette. Uh, he'll walk to the back door and I'm pretty sure that he'll walk back in as quickly as he can in that space. Darn it. Um, I have Magooism sometimes. What was I talking about uh, before we detected our friend walking in the alley? So he's calling for a couple of reasons. A, let them know that there's somebody back here. Um, but more importantly, to say, hey, can you open the door for me uh, in this process? We'll see if he wants to answer any questions. I believe that we just answered that question. Here we're seeing again, the uh, the church has a lock here. Um, the lock seems a little bit loose, so they're getting sloppy in their work, right? Uh, it's not that hard to see in here. Um, it does have bags in there, uh, but the bags are white. Um, we do know that they do have a shredder now. Uh, this one is just likely the, okay, it's empty. Oh, you can see the shredding in the bottom. So there was shredding in here. Um, they do have a shredder in the org now. Uh, I don't know that they use it 100%, but uh, I would imagine that there were penalties to pay when uh, all of that information was leaked uh, via trashy, 12 B, uh, trashy B12 BMW and Aaron. So, right, these are the two rear doors. Uh, I think that he went in this one. Uh, on occasion, you'll see them open this door and Jimmy it open so that they can't uh, do that. Um, oh, thank you, recruiting. That my my main objective out here, you know, I, I'm I'm not under the illusion that I have enough information or knowledge to get a dyed in the wool Scientologist to give up on their batshit crazy beliefs. Uh, but I do feel that I can follow their body routers and inform any of the people that are uh, being contacted by the body routers with information. Uh, only one time has somebody kept uh, the flyer on Dianetics or the uh, the free personality test. So uh, then that person did come back to the org. But other than that, um, I've either retrieved them or the person gave the flyer back uh, to the, the cult. Uh, we've seen that flyer on the ground several times. I think that Israel... Uh, and the other Chicago protesters have found uh, that out here. They, the males uh, have on occasion tried to split up on me and you know, they, they've had mixed success. Many times I can still follow them uh, and I can capture the documents that they're being passed out. Um, sometimes they'll duck into a building or they'll hide behind something uh, and, you know, it's I'll walk past and not see where they hid or, or whatever that is. Uh, and they'll kind of escape me for that period of time. Uh, usually they won't stay away from the org for very long, maybe an hour, hour and a half. Uh, and they have to come back and kind of reset. I don't know if they have union breaks. And by the way, I know they don't have union breaks, but it's fun to think that and Chicago is a union town. Um, in that space. They were sending out, uh, the flyer that was being sent out this morning was both in English, there was one in English and one in Spanish, and it was um, about how they are uh, for a drug-free America. Um, and she had passed 
uh, one of the women passed out the flyer to four guys that were sitting on the corner. And I came up and they spoke Spanish. They were Venezuelan. Uh, remember, we have an influx of migrants from Venezuela here in Chicago. Um, there were migrants from Venezuela up here. They couldn't hear what I was saying. I was trying to say es una secta, and that didn't really uh, click with them. So I ended up pulling out my Google Translate. And with Google Translate, we were able to um, show them what it was. And after they saw what I was saying, you know, I said, hey, it's a cult, it's a sect, it's a scam. And then also that, uh, no, I'm fine, thank you. Uh, coffee causes, causes another problem for me. Me too. Um, that, uh, and that it was dangerous and expensive, and they all handed their uh, their flyers back to me. So I think that um, Free Zeno Project has one, and I still have uh, mine. Sorry, let me read some of these. Yeah, I'd be curious about because I feel like San Francisco is very much like this. It's in an urban district. It's a you know the high foot traffic. I don't understand why this isn't their protocol. Um, maybe they're doing it through uh, other media. We have seen Eventbrite. There is a Eventbrite um, to come in and watch the Dianetics movie. And we also saw that they've got a flyer out right now for um, Juneteenth. Right? Uh, they're going to celebrate on the 15th, but Juneteenth is actually the 19th. So you getting ready to? Yeah, as soon as it shows up. No so, uh, but if you can hit mute for a second. Yep, one second. Sorry, we're just sharing some stories about, um, you know, George is from Chicago. My family's been in Chicago for a long, long time. Um, and it was just interesting sharing. He heard about, um, earlier I talked about the Pullman district, which the Pullman, uh, if you ever look at Chicago history, Pullman was a very special place. It was one of those um, business towns where the, uh, the George Pullman was the, the luxury cars that would be pulled on trains. So back in the day, train was the most common um, meth method of transportation. And what you would do is you would have your own car that you would travel across the nation in, and the train would just hook it up, right? And then you would have all your amenities, but you stayed in basically your house that was traveling in that space. So that was what the Pullman, uh, the Pullman cars were. And you'll hear about the Pullman quarters as, as well. Uh, but it was a business town. So the people that worked in that town, they lived in that town. By the way, this is another Scientologist walking in. I don't know if they know that or not. Uh, yeah, they didn't. I don't think they gave many any challenge there. Um, that in those business-run towns, you had a business grocery store. The business owned all of the apartments and you rented from them. And it just turned out you worked your butt off um, to only have them take the money back through rent and through absurd prices in grocery and all of that uh, in, in that space. So uh, it was very tragic and tough time. But uh, the Pullman District is, it's a historic district down on Chicago's south side. I don't know how to unmute. Oh, let me, I'm going to unmute George for just a second. I apologize. I just kind of described for my channel what uh, George and I were talking about the the Pullman District, which is a it's an interesting district here in Chicago. Um, it used to be a uh, a business town, uh, or the 
the the owner of Pullman luxury cars, or they, they were train cars that were built for well-to-do people, and you would just hook your, your car up to the train. Um, but it was a company town, and the company owned the grocery store, the company owned all the property and rented it to you. So you'd rent and make your money, um, or you, you'd work and make your money, and then they'd take it back in the form of rent and groceries. <laughs> you are no longer mute, by the way. Awesome. I told them about uh, the company town, how uh, Pullman was a company town, and how you, you did your work, and then you spent all your money paying for rent and, um, rent and groceries back in the day. Yeah, it was uh, a very interesting place to grow up, a very interesting concept. Um, the school I went to was actually Pullman Tech before it became part of uh, the Catholic school system. And George Pullman set that whole town up. I'm sure you start telling him everything. So you had to do trade with him in every way, whether it was your store, your school. Mm -hmm. Right on cue. So battery. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're getting near the end yeah. of my battery life. And I do have a wonderful dinner waiting for me with a bunch of friends. Okay. Got my nice bike. Okay. So that's the city bike. Um, you can rent, you basically rent that bike. Now, I'm going to make a profiling statement that on occasion you can figure out a way to get that bike off of the rack without. Uh, no, 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 I wouldn't leave without saying goodbye. <laughs> Never apologize for granting information. Love to see it, Ashley. And I'm sorry, let me, let me go back a little bit to see what we were talking about there. Yeah, today I actually had a fun um, engagement with one of the older um, staff members, um, and she was talking a little bit about her back pain. Uh, it was quiet because I had my silencing mic on. Um, but she had made a couple of statements. One, no, I can't do drugs. I've never done drugs. Uh, the other one is that she do has done like chiropractor therapy, and that did help. But you know, at, at her age, sometimes your doctor retires. Uh, in that space. So that was one thing that had come up. She also made a statement that was, um, I'd like for it to be over. And my hope is what she was saying is she'd like for the back pain to be over. Now, if it's anything more than that, you know, it's tough because there's no way that we can help her in that space. So we got another public coming out. I agree with what Sally said. There are very few rules here, right? Be nice to one another. Uh, I don't want to hear anybody else's drama. Um, if you have beef with any of the other content creators, please address the other content creators. Hey, what, did, what did I miss? What did you guys go see? I heard that, that somebody jumped over a fence to get away from me. Yes. The um, <laughs> the person that was handing out the flyer. Yeah. She was, she bought cigarettes in the gas station, then she walked around back at the gas station, uh, and then uh, the other ladies came up on her, and she, oh my, and jumped over the fence to kind of get out of their way, <laughs> or out of their line of sight. So, um, just now I was back again. We had uh, another person out there smoking, having a cup of coffee. He went in. We were talking Before about how much up. cigarettes cost yeah. and how much they get paid a week. Correct. Yeah. So, like, you can, you've got to wonder if if they, they're getting help in other ways besides that. Now, remember that a staff member most likely has another job. This is right. not their single source of income. Right. So, some of these people may be staff members. Some may be just the CR. But I don't know how to differentiate to you. I don't. Now, if they're CR, they're on loan. Right, because this right. isn't a Sea Org organization. Right. Uh, in there. Sorry, I've got you up in the air right now because I'm trying to keep the camera off the college students. Um, well, so it's it's really hard for me. I know that they say there's a pin 
but I'm not really seeing that pin um, when when we're talking to people. So, um, and nobody really stops and talks to me. Right? We had the lady earlier today, the older woman. She actually talked to me quite a bit. Uh, yeah, you never know if they're going to. Yeah. I just keep going. Yep. That's her. So, um, remember, we know that a lot of them work for Dream Exchange. And that Dream Exchange, change, it's, it's in the financial vertical. So, those are probably high dollar jobs. So, what is Dream Exchange? Dream Exchange is a trading exchange uh, for venture capital uh, places. So, you can kind of come in there with uh, a lump of money and say, I want to invest in companies that look like this. And then they kind of, they're, they, they're a matchmaker for people so with money and companies. Like Similar, you know, why combinate? Well, no, different than wise. Wise is teaching businesses how to run their business. Okay. This is more like Y Combinator or um, some of those other venture capitals out in California where you've got these startups that need to invest and they need investors to put money into their business. Exactly. That's more what Dream Exchange is. It's the ability for you to invest in a startup with the idea that that startup might go to a unicorn um, in that space. So that's what they're. So they are going a different route with businesses to try to get the employees in or to try to get the owners in. So the, they they make a lot of money, so they can pay money to staff. Like I'm not sure that the staff there makes does a lot of work for DreamWorks, but they get paid by DreamWorks. Okay. And they're also members of staff here. Is that the same DreamWorks that's the movie company? No. Okay. Oh, and I said I said DreamWorks, Dream Exchange, Dream, Dream Exchange. Exchange. Thank you. I'm on that. So, or, um, if you look at it, I've got on WindyCityThetonWatch.com my first blog post. If somebody can pop that up with one of my moderators, please. Oh, yeah. um, I know you did. Yeah. So the, on the website, the first blog post is about Dream Exchange, and it's going to show you their leadership team and how many of them have taken courses. And then another Chicago protester did a little bit more of a deep dive in here. We've got somebody come up the street here. Um, another protester did a deep dive on them. <laughs> they do like to wear tight pants. Um, oh that the other partner so one of the partners is joe sakala jr which is the ed's father so joe sakala that's the ed here executive director he's yeah. a third right he's um he's the third uh his father is junior junior is the financial backing of that company and then they have another partner who is a person of color making it a minority owned business or controlled business and being a minority controlled business they get some incentives and perks in that way well that partner uh, it was found out by the other protester that that's the guy that used to own um, the E nightclub, which was uh, there was a terrible fire in there and the, the doors were locked and a lot of people lost their lives at the nightclub here in Chicago. So that was the old owner of that. You get the VIP treatment. Would, you, would it be fair to say that? Um, you, well, I shouldn't say. Would it be fair to say? Would you think that it might stand to reason because he's got so much financial backing, he might be the reason that he's the head of the line? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because like quid pro quo. Well, and that's the thing is, is like. Are you taking off? Yeah, right. my Uber's here, so I'll say George, goodbye to you guys. It was great meeting you. Thank you so much for being here. Hey, all right. Check out the old talk market because I'm telling you, I've seen it. Hey, Chicago. You're not. You're not signed college Chicago. Like, you didn't put them on there. No way. Yep. Chicago bought them back. That's right. But you guys got about 90. Yep. That is a true statement. And then the employees have to take courses. Yeah. Yep. Also, the employees do have to take courses. That is one of, if you talk about, if you think about wise, wise is that we're going to give you our. Uh, administrative right. abilities or, or technology, but in return for that, we need to have you have your employees on course. In, in your, and that's why I'm saying that when you look at the leadership of Dream Exchange, you can find them on what is it, truthscientology.org, which is one of the databases of how to find all the people that take Scientology. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's pretty disturbing, and you know, I've actually. Talked to a bunch of business owners on the street without my camera. I'm not gonna point anybody out, but there are a majority of them when you talk to them without a camera, 
they don't want to cause waves with Scientology. They almost look and sound as though they're afraid to. Right. Um, but you, if you try to talk to them you, on camera, the only there's only one that I'm going to attempt to on here sometime today talk to because they completely and totally want to stay neutral. But, but because they want to stay neutral, I don't want to put them on camera if they don't want to be on camera. But there is one business that completely and totally does not discriminate. Um, they were one of the only businesses that were allowed to be open during certain events. And they really appreciate the business and the workforce. And that's, that's to go with one of the businesses here. They don't want to cause waves with the church because they know how hard the church can make it for them. Right. So I just want to point that out. You know, a lot of these companies, they're not even companies, they're just like single owners. They're family, yeah, they're family providers. Family owners, they, they started it from the ground up, and one of the things that I believe it was from, um, would have been uh, Streets LA, I pointed out, if you own a business that sells food, you do it because you love to sell food or a bar or whatever. It is very hard to make a profit. Right. And if you've got a company that's a billion dollar company making waves for you, that could very easily take out your whole business. Correct. So, and we know that, right? So we listen to right. Tori, right? There's the three steps of um, discredit, um, move, the, move the information down off the page, get it out of sight, and then smear the place. And this place would easily be able to do, you know, do a Google reviews uh, attack against any of these places. Right. Not only just the Google reviews, but as much as they call the cops on us, yeah. they could put somebody in there that's a private eye to get information. And there's all kinds of things they can do. And I don't want to give them any ideas. I just, hey, I'm just putting we're four twenty. We're four hours twenty minutes into this uh, video, so oh, happy four twenty to everybody. Happy four twenty, everybody. <laughs> See, like I said, it's always 420 somewhere, somehow. Yeah. <laughs> but, no, I agree. I do empathize with the businesses and the idea that, right, that, that if I had a neighbor I didn't like, I cannot like them, but I have to figure out a way to either I, I have to move, to coexist. hope they move, or right. how do I coexist with them? So the reason I brought that up is the simple fact of Chicago, like the, the people that live in this area, the community has to realize that Scientology is not only affecting the people that they're recruiting, but they're also affecting the businesses in the area. And they're very much being abused by Scientology. Correct. And if I own a bar or if I own a pizza place and I had people coming in that had billions of dollars in their pocket, they got lawyers up the union, I know that I can't fight them. They could have me in court for years. Yeah, I agree with that, Andrew. Even when I'm wrong. Or even when they're wrong, they could have me in court for years, and I could lose not only my business but my home and my everything that I own. Yep. And they could be wrong, well, no matter what. But their money outlasts your money. Exactly, and it's just it's something that the community needs to kind of support these. And I mean, I've I've been to almost every one of these places to eat at least once, and. Um, I still have yet to go to first draft, but I do want to support them. And I, I have realized that they don't want to be on camera because if they inadvertently say something, they're going to cause Correct. hell to be brought up. And that's just part of what they're doing in Clearwater, too. Correct. Is, you know, this imprint place. How many you talk to that guy that he was basically told, hey, if you don't like it, move on? Because they've got so much money going in there from, from Scientology that they can't afford to, to lose all of those guys, but they can afford to lose you. Correct. And these are the people that are actually giving back to the community. Yeah. We need that group to more organize in that space right. say we don't have to be there. And just to kind of reiterate, I, so Graystar is really who owns that, and Graystar isn't getting the money. They're unaware of what's going on here. It's probably under the table that's going into the local management of this particular unit. I was going to say, there's a manager that probably got, got scared. And as a manager of any place that, that, that you lease out apartments... I think this is always safe to do it with more than one person. Right. Yeah. Sorry, I was, I was just trying oh. to... Get, 
Am I saying stuff? No, 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 no. So, so, so somebody in, in my chat is right. The, the idea that hey, it's a little bit more risky to be out there right now. Um, and they just would say, it, wouldn't it be better if I went with somebody else? 100%. No. Yeah. Two cameras, always better than one. Oh, yeah. I was out here last night and there was a guy that he was very upset with what I wrote down there. And um, I wish I had the footage that they had because I was sidestepping and turning around to get away from them. Because, and that was my main thing was, is he was saying I was harassing him, but if they showed him the video, even if there was no audio, the cop would have looked at it and gone, he was trying to give him space the whole time. He didn't advance once. Number one, number two, you struck up the conversation. Right. You didn't say a word to you. Field. I don't want to be on camera. <laughs> and maybe you shouldn't walk up to cameras. <laughs> you do realize that these three things are cameras here. Oh, Jessica just walked out. We just saw Jessica walk down the street. Oh, that's Jessica from the. Uh, All right. That no, I apologize. That's just another. That is another. That's, oh, that's another long. Garbage garbage that's no. That's not um, garbage yeah, files either. Oh, thank you. I just don't want to whack you. No, no, no. No, you're okay. Don't worry. I'm gonna do another lap. I'm gonna go around back. So I'll be I'll be back out front shortly. Yep. All right. Let's see what we've got going on here. And Ashley, do what you think is most comfortable, but I, I want everybody to kind of remember this, that you watching is supporting, right? Um, just doing informed information to neighbors and friends is, is very helpful. Uh, the idea that you uh, I don't know, cheer us on, uh, support us for what we're doing out here, that's a big help, right? If there was nobody, if, if nobody else cared about this, I'd probably just come out here and do the sign uh, myself, and I wouldn't really have to, I wouldn't do the um, the streaming. Boy, there's a lot of Scientologists coming back. So there's three women that are crossing the street right there. All smoke, well, at least the, the tall one in black. The tall one in black is the one that had the keys when we first arrived at the organization this morning. Uh, I'm sorry, the tall one with black hair. Uh, and she's got her white shirt showing. She's got her, um, her jacket in her sleeve. We'll just see if they want to have a conversation with us. Um, but right, there's this circle of, isn't it odd that a church has to hide? Let's go in the alley. We need to go in the back door because we're embarrassed to go in the front door. That person is a key holder. So probably a senior member of the staff. And she's so embarrassed to go in the front door and can't stand the truth that they hide and go down the back alleys. Now, I plan on coming down here anyhow. Uh, I'll give them a little bit of room. We know that, right, they're going to, as they get down to the orb, they're just going to back into uh, into the orb. Now, say, we're going to use all of Tom Cruise's lines today, or Tom Cruise movies lines. So... Yeah, they can. Um, I'm able to project my voice well enough there that they're hearing me. And these particular women are not women who wear headphones, right? Chad's headphones all the time. So Chad is only going to wear headphones. And you notice that they had to stop there. So they don't have the key to the back door, apparently. <laughs> so they had to stop and knock so they could be let in. Right? Just like every other church in the world, you have to go in the back door and you have to be um, let in by somebody else. Yeah, so communication is a universal solvent. 
uh, they choose not to communicate. Now, um, I don't know if it was Barbie or uh, Brianna that was out this morning. I don't think it was. Um, but the woman who uh, called the police this morning, um, she was the first one to come out and kind of, because the police were there, she would talk. Now, she wouldn't talk directly to me. Uh, she did dock me, and she believes that she knows something about my family um, in, in that space. But she wasn't really kind of, you know, she was talking, but she was talking past me to the police, right, to get the idea of, uh, I think she used that it's a great sun, it's a spiritual Sunday um, type thing. It's like, wait, <laughs> name one thing in your cult that's spiritual. Which, by the way, she did not respond to that question. Uh, when I when I said that, um, she didn't like my argument about uh, as she puts water on it. You know, it's it's too bad the church forces abortions because if you had children, you would understand that when you uh, put water on chalk, it makes it stand out more. Thanks for stopping by, Andrew. I appreciate it. And Ashley, I was the, support the movement the way that you feel comfortable supporting the movement. It's always going to be appreciated. That the only way that Scientology wins is silence, right? Um, the old civil rights, right? The, the only way you you win is by remaining silent. The only way that racism wins is when you remain silent. So uh, it was um, writing chalk on the streets. And early on, when the police first came, they were, yep, you can do that. Nothing wrong with it. And then they came back and they read the organ ordinance again and said, hey, it says mark right here. And the claim was that chalk was marking the street. And you know, I kind of called bullshit on them, but I have no desire to be uh, arrested. And by the way, it's not arrestable until you do it the second time because you know, the first time, the best they can do is give you a ticket. And then if the ticket isn't enough to get you to stop, they could arrest you for uh, not following uh, the lawful order to uh, that the ticket would have been in that process. I'm still gonna call bullshit, but again, I don't wanna take the ride. I think I would beat it in court. I don't need that distraction uh, in, in reality. And you know, there will be people that say, ah, you have no courage, you have no, I'm, I'm fine with it, you know? I, I think I can do more when I'm out here on the street protesting them. Uh, if I was in jail for six hours, that leads them, leads them six hours to send body routers out and pass out fires. And I'm not willing to allow that to occur. Corn Freak is here. So as I walk forward, you'll see Corn Freak. So we've got uh, Corn Freak, Heli Gear, uh, Freezy New Project. And then I can't remember what the other woman's name is. And uh, oh, I know uh, Granny. Uh, let's see here. Never in Granny. 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 Never in. Never in Granny. Something of that nature. Um, never in Granny has an awesome shirt. Never in. Can we see your uh, shirt again? And then this is where we're waiting for Jenna. He's out here all the time. Yeah. Howdy. That's all I said. Huh? No, no. No, I, I, I wave to them. Sorry. Just a reminder of number the, no, another one of the flaws of the cult of Scientology. Isn't her target right that way? Yes. Yeah. So the the top of that hill is Target. You know what? I was walking the right way then. I was at first, and then I got frazzled. I went to the oh, State Street. Yeah. Oh. 
But it's cool. It's a I neat building. Yeah. I haven't been downtown like that. Yeah. So I, I took her on a tour. So, so the police department. Oh, when wait, you guys I went to the police chat. department. I don't see chat in this thing. Sorry. When you guys went to the police department, had you gone? So the the target is the top of the hill. Yes. If you go that same distance further, you're at the back of the police department. Okay. So the police department's cars, their parking lot is on Clark Street. Okay. The building was on State Street. Yeah, I didn't know where I was going. I just hopped in the car and I let Heli drive, or I did let her. She was gonna have to drive. <laughs> and, yeah. Thank you, Kara. Appreciate that. How do I? I don't see chat here. I've never gone through. Oh, you're gonna have to go through here. When the police came out finally, or um, or were you here? Yeah. Or no, you had gone with me. Are no. you? Oh, you you stayed no. here. Okay. The, when they came out, you mean after right. their meeting? Yeah, yeah. I was here. Uh, did they say anything other than the same story? Okay. Uh, he did show. I think it was. He, he showed me the ordinance too. The ordinance, yeah. right? And, and the he ordinance said, says I don't Mark. Want to come back out. Yep. So. Yeah. I want to do like the smaller signs, but they didn't have any at Target. But I want to do the neon signs like um, DOA did. Yes. And put them all along here because there's nothing they can correct. do about that. That's absolutely correct. Yeah. Just keep so, it off the shelf, right? right. Yep. If we just set up just on the ground. Yeah. And there's times where um, I, I'll, I will start bringing my second phone with the uh, tripod if I know that some of us will be out here because I need to be able to take flight when I want to take flight. And I just want to know that my stuff is kind of being yeah. taken care of. Somebody, well, that's why I tried to get down here yeah. as fast I appreciate as that so I, much. I said, I'm on, I'm on the brown line, but what I'm an SP and I'm going to give you pneumonia. <laughs> I'm in a hurry. I threw food at my dog and said, I'm going. Uh, so I don't know if you, you kind of heard the never never in was mentioning that she was watching the uh, chat this morning and she had just gotten out of the shower and saw me surrounded by police. <laughs> but you will be. You will be. We're ahead of the curve. <laughs> George, thank you again. It was a pleasure meeting you. Hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed the tour. So, well, what's your connection with Pullman? Um, that my family worked in that area as well. So, That's crazy. Nice. Yeah, I, would. I, I want. I don't want to say too much more while we're on, but yeah. But wait one but, second. But we're all Uh, there was some uh, family stuff I was talking about. Oh, I no, 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 no. We're gonna, it's, we're gonna, it's all good. It's risky anyhow. So <laughs> they they know it all. Anyway. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah. Well, uh, apparently that guy's. Gonna, I'm gonna be hearing from that guy's lawyer, so I'd be interested to find out nice. how he finds out about me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, earlier. Last night. Oh, I'm. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah. That was very interesting. Yeah. Don't hold your breath. Yeah, he walked right up to me and started talking to me, but I was harassing him. I'm like, how am I harassing him? I didn't contact you. I didn't come up and say something to you. Andrew had mentioned something earlier, and I kind of want to talk about this. That Scientology is not as litigious as they used to be. They understand that there's some problems with being litigious, um, but it's sort of like they'll keep on continuing it until a court date is set. And on the court date, that's more likely when the settlement happens, but it costs a lot of money to keep on getting things continued. And if you don't really get to the court date, you sometimes don't have to suffer this, the discovery elements of that process. I am not a lawyer. Do not take anything I've said on, on face value. But the idea that you can be in the legal system and not quite suing yet in, in that space. And I'm gonna say that they kind of choose their foes correctly. 
Right. And what's really there. interesting is that Scientology has never, in its in its entire history, won a jury trial. Right. I'm serious. Yep. I know. It just sounds <laughs> hilarious. That that when they the first they, thing that as they, much as they, that's what was yeah. so funny about the South Park episode when yeah. they, we're going to sue you, and it's like. We've okay. never won a jury trial. We're we used to it. <laughs> what, this is the first time you're going to win or what? <laughs> yeah. No. We got to know. Now, the, the, and again, I'm, I, I know nothing about it. I have no in, inside yeah. knowledge or anything, but we know that Chadwick was involved in an incident, and we know that it was a very false allegation, and I don't understand why the police were, were okay escalating that situation yeah. and that this is an escalation that they want to prevent, right? Yeah. I have a feeling that that they didn't like the flap they caused by, by letting that es yeah. escalate. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. Um, the, what's going to happen there is that they're probably going to drop it as it gets right near the end because they you know, Chadwick doesn't have the funds to go forward. They don't have the funds to go forward. They don't want the... Um, uh, the Well, the publicity, but they also don't want to have the depositions go right. on there. And again, I, I could be wrong, but I'm going to say that they push and push and push and push until that last minute, and then they kind of get away from it. Oh, never mind. Yeah, just kidding. Yeah. Ellie, glad to see you back here. Absolutely, George, thank you for that. One of the things that I did let the police know earlier too, right, is that, listen, we're gonna have a lot of people out here today. Yeah. Suck it up and get used to it. Yeah. And and, and, I, it, it, and that's the thing is like when he was talking about there's no limit. And I don't I don't get this. Like he's saying that you can call nine one one, it doesn't matter if it's false or not, unlimitedly and they will do nothing. It's it's sort of that if they feel there's an abuse of and if you keep on like um I've seen it if you've done the exact same repetitive process several times. But they're kind of varying the story, randomizing it a little bit. And their claim is, well, we thought, and here's why we thought. So they're able to kind of talk about the story in that situation. It, it's not like somebody who's um, you know, not quite the same as when a swatting incident would occur or, or something that nature right. where and you're doing for malicious, malicious that's intent. What I don't understand is it's like he actually was, before he even got it out, was ready to say, people call 911 all the time. Um, we don't care how many times you call 911. It's like, wait a minute. If I called nine one one and told them that they're they need to do a wellness check on underage people that are in there every day, I guarantee you they're going to arrest me. Yep. I, I, I guarantee it. But yeah, they can do it all they want and they don't care. That really makes me wonder how much donation money does that precinct get from this church? I how are you doing today? And it's, it's one of those open and aggressive. I don't know yeah. the answer to that. Correct. I, mean, I, I, don't think, I don't know if we can even find that out. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. Um, if we go and look back, um, like that's how they got pictures of LA. Is there was an article with a picture of the police chief and oh, yeah, yeah, all yeah. that stuff with right. with a $50,000. That's how they know that they got a $50,000 check. Right. And then with, right, as I'm saying to anybody watching this, Anybody watching this is in the door. They can go on my YouTube page, or channel, and they can uh, go to my about and then find out my email. Email me. I will not put your information out there, but let me know. Do you know of how much they're getting? How often they're donating? Howdy, Congress. Is please welcome in. To the precinct. Is it going straight to the to just for example? Oop, I saw. I've seen you for a little while here. Sorry, I didn't uh, pull you up yet, but. Thanks for coming in and stopping by, spending some time with us. As much as they they used to be. That's the sound of anybody. Doesn't have to be the sidewalk. Windy City, contact one of us. Yep, absolutely. Um, you can go to windycitystatementwatch.com, and there's an anonymous uh, in the contact us page. You can send a, um, a note in anonymously. Uh, no. Okay. And I don't recognize him. So. 
Got another Scientologist coming up the street. God! So Sue is telling us police donations accepted should all be public record and available upon request. Correct, but I think that I don't know if you can say tell me all, like if you could ask them to list all of the donations. I don't know if you have to be able to filter it down to anything. Might but be it, I'll definitely put out the FOI. Yeah, it's I was going to say, um, like, and I would be willing to, especially with somebody, like, wanted to, but, like, I would be willing to. I'll actually talk to you later. Um, but, yeah, there's some things that I wanted to talk to you about. But, yeah, there are, there are things that we can request. Um, I'm not sure exactly how that works. That FOIA request is easy to get. That, that's, so that's how I got all the incident calls here. I just made a FOIA request and I said, between these two dates, how many times did you come to this address? So I know that I was looking at trying to get some type of a FOIA request for Blue Star Security, which yeah. I noticed I don't see them around here. You can't anymore. do it for Blue Star Security. Because they're not a they're a private organization. profit yet. So. Even if they were not, that it's not a governmental agency. It's got to be a right. governmental agency mm-hmm. to do freedom of information. Thank you, Sue, and we're actually looking at doing something like that. So if you just go to uh, Chicago Gov, chicago.gov, you can see the FOIA request site, and they're going to send you to COPA. Go to COPA. It'll say, do you want records? And you say yes, go to COPA, uh, and then you put that in there, and then they will give you the records request. Now, you can't get the film, the, the body cam there. You have to actually go to the police district to fill in that FOIA request. Oh, for body cam footage? Okay. Gotcha. Because COPA doesn't regulate that. The police department regulates Well, and that. that's just like, I mean, we could go down to the police station and file a request if we knew Chadwick's full name. And we do. Chadwick oh, Burke. It is Chadwick what? Chadwick Burke. B-U-R-K-E. Burke. And we know his middle name, too. So we could go down and fill a request out for the last year of any anything that the police department has on file for any interactions he's had with the police department. Because I know I've done that. At least in Wisconsin, you can. I don't know about you. I don't know if you can do it for others. Like, if, if you could do it for yourself, I don't know if you can do it for others. But you probably could, because it is public record. It is public record. Um, so I know that uh, in Wisconsin, especially, like, for example, one neighbor is constantly calling the cops on another neighbor, and then the other neighbor does, and they feel threatened or whatever. They can actually go and request all interactions in Wisconsin for that particular guy. Yep. Or woman, and basically they get it done. You'll, you will have to pay for it. So I mean, it's not free. In certain, so, yeah, I would say that I, I haven't had to pay for any of mine yet. Right. Um, but you're right. There are certain places that they can do it. And, like it costs us fifteen cents a page or twenty five cents a right. page. They can't charge a four hundred dollars for it. No, no. But they can make Which it. Is that there's a, a because threshold. when you come into like court cases and stuff, they can charge an exorbitant amount of prices. Yeah. However, somebody did mention that in LA you can. You can waive that fee by going directly to the courthouse and filling it out yourself. Okay. And basically, what you're doing is you're printing it there, and that then you you don't get charged that exorbitant price, but you just get charged for the copy cost. Right. There's a lot of activity, or there's some conversations happening behind me, and it's a little bit distracting uh, at the college. Um, what is that? Um, I'm just hearing that that conversation back there is kind of. Uh, distracting to me. Oh. Yeah, they're, they're college kids. I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> they might be talking about us. <laughs> no problem. Hey, Hallie, can you make um, Nance a uh, moderator in your chat real quick? You're, you've got somebody who's trolling you. Nance is out. Somebody's trolling you. Come home, Nance. Nance uh, Nancy's in California. No, so I know, but she, oh, I thought she said she uh, was on. She, she just came into mind to let me know that she's seeing a troll in Helly's spot. Oh. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Who's got her? Everyone's saying hi to Buy a donkey hi, for coming by, Karmic. Uh, and I also know Asabi. Oh, Asabi. Asabi. Uh, Placib. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And wait, I know one other. That is my oh, Lacher. Locker. Moya Locker.
Nice. Uh, one thing I'll say is right that, that the officer said he's not going to chase people and there are places where we could strategically put chalk down. And I do kind of want to wander the neighborhood and find kids that are chalking and just put in the 911 call to say, yeah, I'll wait. Yeah. Yep. And it's like, listen, if you're not going to prosecute everybody, don't prosecute anybody. Well, yeah. Don't, don't have not prosecute even, just pass them. Correct. Yeah, and at what point is, is it not harassment to be... Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for letting me know. And I'm sure that I, I, I think that she solved the problem. Every once in a while, yeah. Clearly a fraudulent enterprise. Correct. Yeah. It is a business. But if we're being honest, the Church of Latter day Saints, there's a lot of bad ones. There's a lot of bad ones. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, I don't think so. Um, I think that he grew up on the West Coast. Um, and yep. I noticed one of the things that they like to say is just go in and check it out. If it's not right. for you, it's not for you. My thing is, is like, I w I'm waiting for somebody to say that to me because I want to tell them, you know, would you say that if somebody walked up to you with a bag of crap and said, you know what, try it. Yeah. If it's not for you, it's not for you. Or better yet, LSD because they really look down right. on that. Yep. And it's like, it doesn't apply to things, especially when it's destructive towards you. Correct. And the other item I'll say is that if you go in and try it, you're not getting what the actual service is. You're being right. told the shore story of these lower exactly. level elements. And it's really just, it is the crack, right? right. I'm going to give you the first bit of crack for free. And then you're going to get hooked on it. Right. And you're going to keep coming back for more. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I will see you when you get back. You're going to come back. Yeah. Come back. So let me go back to this a little bit. So, um, I, we, if you go to the Delphinian, Delphinian org, Delphinian, the Delphinian Academy, and it's somewhere out in Oregon, maybe it's Portland, but it's, it's, or it's West Coast. Um, you'll see that he's there with his parents. And I didn't really notice that his parents had really any likeness to, uh, Alderman Ed Burke. Uh, Alderman Ed Burke was, you know, Chicago has been known to be a corrupt city for quite some time. Um, Alderman Ed Burke, I think that Silver Shovel is what finally brought him down. But he, uh, that the way that Chicago works, it's a strong aldermanic uh, government. And they just have an awful lot of clout. Uh, and that's where the, when you hear the machine, uh, they can locally uh, organize so much clout in their district that, you know, that the mayor can't ignore them. Now, the mayor has final say over most things, but uh, you you go after uh, Ed Burke or Ed Verdoliak, uh, you were asking for trouble. You were probably not going to succeed in the next uh, mayoral election at that point. Nance, it looked like everybody had a, a good time uh, at Laura's show last night. And, sorry, Laura's show. Laura Surge. Um, I didn't recognize the person on the left hand side of the stage, but I saw that Selfless was uh, drumming. Surge was there. Uh, there was a person in maybe gray or white, um, and I can't even remember what was he. Might have been a guitar. Sorry, I'm getting out of the sun a little bit. Uh, it, the shade, the shadows, kind of being cast over the org right now. Uh, I'm going to walk on the outside of this because uh, Half Sour plays music kind of loud. And uh, if I'm not talking through it, 
uh, it's easy for them to, to see, uh, it's easy for me to see the copyright element. And I assume, again, I, I kind of had to get things ready and get down here. I was down here pretty early this morning. You know, we're, we're going on, oh, almost going on five hours right now. Um, that I wasn't able to watch a lot of last night's uh, activity. Uh, if you weren't here uh, at the opening of today's show, uh, yesterday, a friend of mine and I, we, we walked the entire length of Chicago on Chicago's longest contiguous street. Uh, that street is Western Avenue, and we started up at the Dunkin' Donuts uh, in Evanston, uh, and that was, well, what is that street? Darn it. Um, Western and Howard, right? So if, you ever if you're ever on the red line, the red line ends at Howard Street, and then it turns into the yellow or purple line to go th back through Evanston, you know, to get to Northwestern or whatever. Uh, so we started up there. We walked south. We had several barley sodas on the way. Uh, stopped in a few of the local bars, and it was fun. We had a, a, a great time. Uh, I always like um, when you go into uh, a new bar or a neighborhood bar, and it feels like neighborhood. So that was awesome. Um, and then we walked all the way down to Blue Island, and you've got the, the very artistic sign down there in Blue Island. Uh, you know, we crossed the street to get over there. How you doing? Uh, it's just a, a fun time. So I will say that last night I was a little bit tired as well. That is 100% true. Um, I don't think that she knows rest and relax. Folks, I'm just trying to get a, uh, a little bit of a break here. Um, it's uh, it's getting a little bit. There's, there's a shadow or an overcast shadow uh, on the sidewalk right now. I want to get out in the sun, warm myself up again. We are all the way over to State Street uh, at the bottom of Jones College. School. Almost no activity on Sunday. Uh, sometimes athletics show up on a Sunday here in Chicago, but uh, Retail space down here in the printed building. Jordan mentioned right that when he was here many moons ago, he was up there. I mentioned that he, he definitely didn't want to cross the tracks when he came up here. And he said, Oh, we took the trains up all the time. I did think he took the trains here. Uh, and if you left the football station, you could get back to the There's a train thing on King Street. That you can get to, but you never really want to go up to those train tracks into this neighborhood. It was definitely sus, and uh, it was tough, hardcore. Um, never wanted to be here at dark. Now, Friday night, uh, I was out there with Solomon. And on Solomon's channel, I was watching his channel before uh, he actually joined up with me, and everyone was. Yeah. Uh, is there an awful lot of gun violence? And, and I'll say there's a lot of gun shooting. There's also a lot of weapon shooting that goes on here. Um, but fortunately, most of the criminals have really bad aim. Um, there are some tougher neighborhoods and some neighborhoods that you know, I'm shying away from. Or at least I've always got my head in there. But for the most part, where he was at was, was not the place where you had to be. Or where you had to be. I'm going to always remind people, be aware of your surroundings. And most 
criminal activity is an opportunistic element. So if you've got your eyes scanning so that nobody can surprise you, you're in a totally better situation than if you've got your very recall and you've got your phones on. Again, I'm not a police officer. Just a, a little recap of today. Uh, I know it's you know, we're going on five hours. Unlikely that a lot of you have been here the whole time. They got me the police, so I could put some clock down. Uh, they did call the police somewhere in the early nine o'clock hour. Uh, there were three police that came by. Uh, at that point, uh, the police were saying that they shop is fine, uh, that there's, there's no issue with that, and there's no hate speech here, so you're fine. Now, they did try to do the cops planning up, can't go past that line over there, and I said, well, did I? And the answer was no. Get, get up into the space, and I said, did I? And the answer was no. So, they do like to remind you the things that you haven't done, which might be illegal. Uh, then, uh, we started seeing people show up. Porn showed up. We had Ellie here show up. Never in Granny. Never in Granny when she saw police here. She kind of hurried up on her morning shower routine to get out here quickly, and I really appreciate that. Then, uh, Frizzini uh, came along. We saw uh, George, surrounded by Scientology today. George is from Clearwater, so he's off and outside of that location. So it's something that George has contact with a lot more than I can. George, uh, Clearwater is a SEAL base. You know, he's seeing an awful lot more SEAL than I see. Yeah, <laughs> I remember that. Vote early and vote often. Was a very common sign. Or my great grandma voted for you twice. Um, the later on, they sent two bodyguards out. Uh, it was two females, uh, not the one I normally see. Uh, I, I've seen these people there before. I've never seen them body robbers before. Um, they had a drug. And I do have the drug pamphlet. When I get home, uh, I'll hand it or take pictures of it so that we can uh, put it up on either I'll put it up on a blog post or somewhere else. And I might need somebody to help me translate uh, that for us. But they, as they were passing them out, I would just make contact with the people they would pass them out to and let them know that they see something from home. What point? Four young kids. That's right. Some four young males. Uh, the uh, they were Spanish speakers. Uh, they were migrants from uh, Venezuela. I tried to say as soon as secta, and I'm going to say that maybe my Spanish dialect isn't great. Oh, 
there is somebody at the far end of the alley. But that looks like somebody going home. And then I've got a suit that just walked back into the orb. I don't know who that was. Sorry. Uh, to get back to the, the four uh, Venezuelans, I finally had to kind of, I, I put the, uh, I brought up Google Translate and I put in S in the secta and uh, Stefano, which I think is scam. And they did get that. So the scam of a cult. And then I also said it's dangerous and expensive. And when I did that, they handed me their flyers. So I do have those. Now they are um, in Spanish, so I'm going to have to get those uh, read up. I'm just quickly going to walk back over to Park. Now, I do have to go to the train station and solve the problems. But let me see if I can sit down. If that was something that was trying to do his body routing. Now, the reason I can walk out here is this is one way uh, coming from behind me, and it's a red light. Yeah, I don't think that they're they're out there routing. Oh, and what I was kind of saying about, um, so George's experience with Scientology is going to be different than our experience with Scientology. The, the thing that he has a great deal of that we don't is most of the people he has contact with are Sea Org members um, or publics coming to take those higher education classes uh, or staff members. But, but he's got C -Org, he's got a, a larger number of Sea Org people that are down there. We don't have Sea Org except for the fact that some are on loan. Here, but Chicago is a class five org with not a C org space. Uh, but what we have is that this is a testing center, and in Clearwater, it's not a testing center. So they're not bringing in people off the street in Clearwater. They already have people in the system. That's kind of what happens uh, in the Clearwater, which is different than what happens in a lot of these level fives. So um, now, if we think about LA, it has kind of both scenarios. It is a Sea Org base, but it is also, um, we know that they've got the testing center, but the testing center has been shut down for quite a while. Right. right, William Good. At this point, maybe 18 months ago, uh, he was out doing what he originally was a, a cop boss. And he would make sure that cops don't ever overstep their bounds. He was having an argument with cops in front of the testing work. And Scientology came out and started harassing him. Uh, they didn't like the idea that he was out in front of the org uh, protesting the police. At that point, they grew another enemy, but it was one of the worst enemies they would ever find because from, and, and I know there's going to be more that I'm going to have missed out on here, but it starts out with William Good and Jessica uh, down there quite a bit. And then you see the LA cans, Catholic Chris, and more people keep on showing up in that process. It's just a continued growing expansion. It's precisely what David Miscavige would want for his organization. This idea that it's got unlimited upward growth and it's actually seeing extra growth. Whereas Scientology is just being drop off. <laughs> yeah, that's true. They have, let's say, secret routes um, there. They have what would be, I would say, it's kind of a camping situation. So, very easy for that. Uh, stay away from the public. 
now the public, it's very challenging for the public to stay out of the way of Lori plays by Scientology. Carol Sherrill. I'm pretty sure Carol was a race as well. Yeah, yeah, just a little for today. Uh, oh, by the way, yesterday was uh, St. Catherine's Day. All right, folks, you're going to go on mute. I'm going to hide the camera for a bit. I'll be right back. Something else that was rather significant, but extremely free today. Um, I've, I've always been using my alias uh, on this channel. Uh, but I wanted the channel name when you said you're right? Because in Chicago, I want to be watching over the things and, and seeing the bad behaviors and the illegal and illicit activities that they've been doing and thwarting their activities. I didn't want to use my real name to make it easy on them to do any kind of research. I knew, I've, I've suspected for a great deal of time that they knew who I was, but the staff member this morning had a bit of an emotional tirade and blurted out my name, trying to dox me. I don't care that you all know my name, and I'll probably start going, you know, uh, the little banner in the corner uh, will probably still be Paul. I'm sure that it'll be a while before people uh, can make the transition from Wooden City to Paul. And again, I'll list by the one of those. Um, but it's kind of a freeing experience that now I can be a little bit more um, forthcoming as to who I am. I'm not hiding behind anything. Well, we saw it on open day, but a week and a half ago, right, we saw them co-opt the police into an incident which really never took place, but it caused an arrest, and somebody was arrested for uh, six hours on a faulty complaint. It was not he said, she said. There was plenty of photographic evidence that showed nothing really occurred. So, 
we know that on opening day, right, the, uh, the poor uh, older, uh, older gentleman who was just trying to get donuts, he was uh, abused and taken away by the police. Uh, he is fine now, again, for anonymity, no desire to mention anything of that nature, but we don't think that there's any contact with family. He's very funny, very sarcastic. He, he thinks it was funny, kind of what occurred that day. Now his family didn't know what was going on. And it was kind of a serious moment. What's going on there? But he very jokingly said that, well, I'm never going back to that uh, Dunkin' Donuts. No, that was funny. But they co opted the police, right? The, the idea that they said they would trespass them off of the alley and out of the parking lot. That isn't, a science analogy doesn't buy the proxy to have permission from the bank to say that you can be trespassed. Oh, let me check my mic. Is the mic back on right now? Let me switch mics real quick. Wait, one second. I'm not. Uh, I'm not muted yet. I need to change the mic just because it's there, but. Uh, one second, I am going to uh, I'm intentionally going mute for just a minute. All right, folks. Uh, Jen, thank you so much. Um, do I still have, do I have mic and do I have camera again? Uh, let me, I'm gonna turn off this one because I think it's just low on power. Thank you, Jen. Yeah, so JBAT gifted uh, several memberships. I think when I was on with um, uh, Marilyn Hodick. So thank you, Jen, for the confirmation. We're heading back down uh, to the org. It's about 2.15. I have been here for a while. I really appreciate that all of you have been here for a while as well. Uh, hopefully you've been popping around the channels. But uh, I need some foods. Uh, yesterday took a bit out of me. Need to 
go get myself some libation, uh, relax. I did catch a blister yesterday, but uh, I've been able to kind of handle it pretty well today. What was this one? Yep. So I was going to say taping is they they claim taping is defacing as well. Um, which no, he actually said that it was because we attached something to public property. Okay. I said no problem. Pick it up. And he said, and this is all fine. He, he made a point of saying cool. that. Same same officer. Oh, that is he was, inside right now or? No. Yeah, he's inside right now. Um, I guess oh, this Dolan, is Doyle. Dolan, Dolan yeah. Dolan. The one that wouldn't talk to me earlier. Oh, really? Yeah. Why would he talk to you? He's a dick. <laughs> By the way, we're long, we're far enough into this that I can use the D I C K word, right? I hope we're far enough <laughs> I can use the R word because I didn't even think about it when I was across the street talking to the. Uh, I talked to two guys that are uh, in legal. Uh, they're legal students. Yeah. They want to be lawyers. Nice. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So he that. was asking, "Do you have proof of any of these things you're saying?" I'm like, "Yeah, I, mean, I do." Oh, unfortunately. You're falling off on battery now. Yeah, I got to pre-plug it in. We moved our... Uh, yeah, I heard that. I, I heard what he said. Yeah. Well, can you give me a break? Woo, woo, woo! Well, I, I got to get another... So the attachment of, right? The tape is an attachment of... Yep. Double and damage. So we can look the same. We're doing everything we can yeah. here. Yeah. So if I take the tape off, it's okay? Oh, if it's laying there, that's correct. Okay. This was the officer, right? Yes. This is the officer fleeing the scene again. Huh? I wanted to go out. He won't talk to me. He's, he must be a Scientologist. He's not allowed to talk to me. Um, <laughs> We can put the signs down, but we can attach. So what did he say? Uh, I was oh, not here. I, Jay yeah, was here. Like yeah. It is a quarter after two. He said, you got to pick those up. Those are fine. And he said, fine. I remember that. He really is a prick. Well, he's the one that earlier, when I asked him what his name was, he turned around so he wouldn't have to talk to me. He asked him and he goes, you didn't pick up all the signs yet. Like, yeah. I don't, you don't get my number until you pick up all the signs. All right, well, I'm going to put them in the ball. Yeah, or just, yeah, write the idea that. All right, we're given uh, the privacy and I'm holding two phones. You guys are pretty good. Oh, here. Woo! Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, they've been all over the board on what this law may or may not be. And even more fun was um, somebody called the, the district police and said, hey, if I'm out there uh, and I've got a child who's do, putting hopscotch on the sidewalk, is that okay? And they said, well, that's different. It's like, oh, no, you either mark the sidewalk or you're not marking the yeah. sidewalk. Or uh, we can make a hopscotch. Yeah, square foot, whatever we want. Yeah. Hell yes, I'll play some hopscotch. What else? Can, what, else what other kind of games are played like that? Four square. Four square. Do you remember four square with the red ball? Oh, four square. Yeah. Um, duck and goose. Yeah. We could say church, church, cult. <laughs> <Instead of duck -dunk. laughs> I think that Marion, that um, they call the Theta Potato was early on in when the Headleys would still be on um, growing up in Scientology yeah. every once in a while. But a little potato, I'm going to say it's yours. For today, at least, it's yours. The one that I really like is the Gotham. And every time that I uh, am able to.
uh, every time that I'm able to get a flyer away from them, I want us to be able to use that. Got them. Yeah, just put some, uh, if you put some uh, bark on top of them, will that be enough weight? Rocks. Right, we'll bring rocks. So here's our doxing hero from this morning. Anything positive to say about the cult? No, there's nothing positive about the cult? Oh, you know what? I wasn't talking for a bit. Miss Bramley, can you hear me now? Um, and this one, I'm going to say that, you know, maybe that's what they're getting away with out there. There seems to be this idea that attachment, and I might say that magnets might look like attachment um, in that space. Uh, what I would think is that you're right. If we do um, poster board with rocks, uh, now I'm putting a tripping uh, item down there. So. I love that they're out here and just that we have the signs, it stops people, right? They, they stop and look. Uh, and when people stop and look, that gives us an opportunity to engage with them uh, as well. So, yes. And this morning, I don't know if you'd heard her, that she had said, oh, don't put any water on him because he's gonna, then he's gonna say that you assaulted him. It's like, you're acting like you don't give petty crimes all the time, right? <laughs> Sorry if the hand was in front of the camera for a moment. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Very good. How are you today? This is one of the people that um, on opening day, uh, she really kind of went through a, a crisis because the police wouldn't prevent her from getting in. Uh, and she is a resident of Columbia College. Uh, and even when they would let her come by, there was an awful lot of jostling and, and bumping. Uh, it was, yeah, it's, it's sickening to understand that uh, an American with disability, and there's an act, right? The, the, the ADA should have said, she has free right to move through there she was really threatened and harassed the whole time that day. Are you following me today? Yes. They are. At no point was I anywhere near you. So here's a woman telling me, please don't come me. This is assault. This is assault. When she's in my space, my space. Nine one one. Let's call nine one one.
Here, get a candle away. Yeah, take your fucking drugs you, and get the fuck out. Are you fleeing the police? Want you. Are you fleeing we the police? You. Are you fleeing the police? Fuck off, Scientology. Are fuck you fleeing off, the police? Child abusers. Is this a Scientologist helping uh, hide this uh, person from the police? You know what you're doing is wrong, and we hate you for it. We will not stop until those children are. Nobody wants your abuse here. Stop terrifying us. Zeno. Hey, Zeno. 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 We deserve better. We deserve better. Zeno. 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 I'm going to go back to the org, but if you can keep a camera on her. Uh, have we noticed that the police aren't here? So. It's not an emergency when it's uh, not a Scientologist who's a victim. Good job. You cannot fucking stand it. We're fucking smiling because of the fucking shit that I'm doing. He's fucking happy that I'm mad. Watch. Uh, folks, can you hear me? Yep. So, do I have uh, sound back? Sorry. I uh, Unfortunately, somebody gave me a phone call and it was like, uh, damn it. Sorry, I call me. Um, if, if you could do me a favor, if you can create a clip of the incident. Uh, I'm gonna again. I'm gonna guess it was at the five hours thirty mark um, when she came up and approached me. 
I don't care about the first interaction. She's allowed to talk to me. But when I backed away, um, I need that interaction. And as she pushed past my phone. She wanted to force me to listen to uh, her phone recording. And also, let's start a clock on when I made that police call uh, and how quickly they're responding. You did call the police? I did. Okay, yes, they are on the way, Uh, I will say, Columbia did come out and forced the Scientologist off of their sidewalk um, because of the argument. And there was a Scientologist. Uh, there was a And you did see that I was backing oh, up. Oh, yeah, because I said, get away from us. Right. Get away from us. I was seeing her. Yeah. I always see her. But we don't. What, uh, which restaurant? Subway? Yeah, I think they went in Subway. Oh. They might have gone into Path Pizza, but okay. one of those two. Um, and I think Zeno's, I, I asked him to keep a camera on her because I do not want her to be able to get away. Oh, he's over there? Yeah. Okay. I will be she had a black coat on earlier, yeah. so I'm sure it's inside there. Uh -huh. It's in a closet right behind this little uh -huh. post. Because she came in the back door and then went around. Uh, folks are getting handheld right now because um, I'm getting low on battery. The phone was down to 1%, so uh, I'm charging right now as well. Let me see where that's at. We're back up to about 20%. Uh, does anybody at least have a timestamp of when the actual um, situation took place? He was playing the hand flute. God bless you. <laughs> Anything positive about church? Are you okay with the woman just assaulted me? That one of your church members just assaulted me? Um, when the police do arrive, if I have to turn this off, I would yeah, really like if somebody can make sure they've got enough charge on their phone to have eyes on me. Yeah, Thank I'll you. just record it. Yep. Thank you so much. Yeah, 
That is true. Okay, thank you, Eat More Pizza. And by the way, great work with Aaron and, and uh, the mod you do over there. I've been watching you for the last 18 months, commenting and super chatting there. Really appreciate it. And in addition to eating more pizza now, can I eat more pizza later? I didn't hear that. No. <laughs> Caught on a leash. Thank you, Erica. So we're at 23 minutes getting a vehicle here from 18th and State Street. Two mile drive. We have to wait until the con commander can sign them out. Because, you know, you just delay with Scientology. Gotcha. Here we see a squad car coming down the street. Let's see if this one's going to turn around. Nope. That's not the one that's coming to help. Uh, I don't see her on the sidewalk. If she is walking back. Uh, I think they're in, are they in Pat's Pizza or in Subway, Crazy? Uh, eat more pizza. Yeah, the 528 will help. I wonder if Scientology is on the phone trying to cherry pick the officer that comes out to call for the complaint. So this is what the call, uh, right about that time, there was a call for this. Oh, I do see her walking down the street now. Hey, um, eat more pizza. Tell Zeno to give her 20 feet. I asked Zeno. I'm not the boss of anybody, but I would say it's a safer mechanism. We're still not seeing the uniform person. Yeah, it's here. Thank you. I want Zenu to give him more space. Uh, I'm gonna put my camera on for just a second to take a picture.
translate stuff. So I, I talked to Google. Sorry, I just saw that. Are we back? Um, I did see that for some reason the phone was on mute. So uh, she actually initiated a conversation. Correct. And the first Google. conversation was fine, but no, when no, I stepped no, away. Google Translate. Oh. I had to lean in close to do Gotcha. That. Well, I'd love to pick that up, but I know I can. Right there? I'd love to pick ah, that yeah. up, but I know I can. Correct. As soon as it blows off the building, I'll grab it. Where did Corey go? She just went for a walk. I'm not oh. sure why. Uh, let me kind of wrap this around over here. Hey folks, I'm gonna make a phone call again. Um, I am very concerned why the police aren't coming. We're at, we're at 48, so it's been 25, I guess 20 minutes. Um, I might lose you. I'm going to try to keep you on here. Uh, I am going to make a phone call again. Uh, okay, because I went to the phone, I'm going to go and unmute. Uh, I think I have uh, audio back. I, I just called the police again. Um, all right, corn's in the alley. That's good. Uh, we do. Uh, we know that she walked in to Paisan's Pizza, um, like she owned the place. But quite honestly, Scientology does own the place. Thank you, Erica. going vertical just to check my battery. Okay, so I'm back up to 40%. So just a little bit of a recap. Um, this morning, we put chalk on the sidewalk and there were six officers here. Right now, we have a complaint of an assault, and we have no officers here. So help me understand how they're de-escalating the situation with six officers on a problem of chalk on a sidewalk, yet they're a little blasé about the idea that uh, if somebody's assaulted, they can't get here in time. Are you okay that your church members have actually assaulted me and then you tried to get them away from the police? You tried to help your church member evade the police when they assaulted me?
I think Z News calling the police right now as well, uh, and expressing the idea that why are people, why are the police here so rapidly for chalk? But when there's an actual uh, physical crime that takes place, they're not here. Hello. My name is Paul Erickson. This now is the third call on this. The first call was placed uh, probably 20 minutes ago. They are female. Uh, she has brown hair. She is Eastern European descent. She has a lavender sweatshirt on. Uh, she is trying to evade. So she's walked into Paisan's Pizza, which has an alliance with the cult or the church that she's involved with um, so that she can kind of get out of our way. The, she walked into Paisan's Pizzeria, P-A-I-S-A-N-S. -S. They are one, build, one door south of 650 South Clark. The Church of Scientology is at 650 South Clark. Uh, she has a lavender. She's, she's white, Eastern European. Um, she has lavender shirt on, brown curly hair. Uh, she was wearing jeans and black shoes, the last I saw her. She, she walked into Paisans. Now I will say that she can very easily walk out the back of Paisans and walk down the alley and I wouldn't have any sight. So that's why I'm kind of asking that the police get here quickly so that we can make sure that we can detain her. I am, I am gonna put a, thank you very much. Not sure if you heard all of that. No, I didn't. Uh, no, I'm not sure if my, uh, my audience heard it, because they probably heard me talking on your line. Well, I tried to back away from you when you were talking on mine, but I didn't get a chance to mute it. I, I'm sorry. Uh, they already doxed me this morning. Oh, did they? Okay. Yeah. All right. I was trying to back away when you were saying the name. But... And yeah, I'm gonna, I'll change that number right away. Did she go out the back or? I, by the time, if she went through Kaizen, yeah. that's an easy. Right. By the time I got there. Cool. And she, and so. And, and, and Hellcat was coming down there. Okay. So, nice. we would have sandwiched her, but. I'm sorry, I'm not right. I don't need her in Kaizen. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure she would have walked right straight through. Right. And that's probably where she came out earlier, right? Because oh, we didn't really yeah, see her so approaching up there. Well, I am going to send the police in, and we know that we know that they're in there, and it's exigent circumstances. The person that fleed went in there, so they don't need a warrant. Now, she's going to be hiding in a closet. She's going to be hiding under a desk or whatever. But
Yeah. When I called the police back, they said, well, that was probably somebody on a different call. Oh, yeah. She looked like she was on a call. Yeah, Daniel, you're right. Hey, what about the three of us? Yeah, I think probably my favorite thing that happened. Yeah, so we're now on 30 minutes from the incident. So, Chicago's finest are absolutely invested in coming out here and fighting crime. So, earlier they were out here uh, for things that might have been a crime if I had done them. But now when actual crime occurs, they're nowhere to be seen. Just checking for the battery. Folks, um, I'm going to kind of walk around back okay. real quick. If the police come, I'm sure that somebody are, is, is corn live. Are you live? I am. Okay, if the police come, ask somebody to, to let me know they're here. I just want to make sure that she's not walking down the alley back there. Okay. So, Francesca, uh, we've been out here for quite a way, uh, well, probably six hours today. Um, earlier today, uh, there was some chalk. We put chalk on the sidewalk, and the police showed up here, licked these split, letting us know that it was perfectly fine. And then they came back uh, a little bit later uh, and with six officers and said, no, we don't want you marking on that. And the, the, the term mark is in their ordinance, and they claim that using ch sidewalk chalk is marking. He also had the gall to explain to me that my putting a camera in somebody's face is a crime. And that had we done that, we would have been uh, arrested for assault. So lo and behold, uh, one of the people, so today they were out uh, body routing and they were handing out flyers. Uh, I kept a respectful distance. I never came within 20 feet of uh, a woman. And when she would pass out flyers, I would make contact with the people that she passed out flyers to. And in so doing, uh, there's somebody at the bottom of the alley, but it's not uh, our person. Um, when I made contact with the people, I would explain to them, hey, it's a cult and yada, yada, right? The, the same thing that I, I typically do in these situations. Uh, I came across four gentlemen that she had handed one out to. They were Venezuelan migrants. And I tried to explain to them as soon as second, and they didn't understand. So I went to Google Translate and I explained to them, hey, this is a cult. They're very dangerous. They're very expensive. 
and they gave me the flyers. So uh, at no point uh, was I anywhere in her space. Now, 30 minutes ago, maybe 45 minutes ago, um, she approached me on the sidewalk and asked if I was the person who saw her earlier that day. And yep, I, I am that person. And then she re uh, she forced me to listen to some recording uh, that she had that, about uh, what the laws are in Chicago. And I backed up from her and I said, get away from me. And then she moved forward to make me, force me to listen to it again. Um, and I backed up again and I, w I cried out as I was a person under stress. There was a camera in my face and I felt threatened. Uh, at which point I backed away and I called the police. We are waiting for the police to arrive. When this occurred earlier today, when the chalk occurred, police were out here in force. The whole damn district was out here. Yeah, I'm not sure what that, um, what Joan's statement, if it's in relation to um, the earlier uh, time when they were, when there was chalk on the sidewalk. Um, hopefully it's not that the police have just come by here now. I was going to do this on the evening. I don't know if we're going to sit and wait for the cops uh, because maybe we should have called and said that they, they wrote something about us in chalk on the sidewalk. Absolutely. Maybe that would have got them out here quicker. Yeah. Here's another police officer. Two police officers just going right by. He's he was looking with the GPS. He was playing with the GPS. What he doesn't know where 650 South Park Street yeah. is. Yeah. Uh, I will be going straight down to the first district to help understand why it's so important that they come out here for chalk, but when an actual crime against a civilian occurs. They can't be bothered to get out here. Yeah, yeah I, I understand that they didn't do that. And I would say that the, the police were negligent in their duty because this is 100% exigent circumstances. Um, it's sort of the idea that um, if you see somebody go into a building, and they don't have any egress or they would lock the bell in, right? Well, they didn't find the person and they lied about, well, whether or not the police lied that the person was in there or not, they had every right to go in there. The lock the bell could not stop them from going in there. And even though it's a church, um, it is a place where somebody fleed into. Now, the person actually went into Paisans. Um, I'm sure that that person went out the back door and into, uh, into the church. So let me recant a little bit here. Because none of us saw her go in there, it might be possible that they can't do exigent circumstances, um, but we definitely have the picture. I don't know how we're gonna get that name. You know, maybe if some of the LA folks can can help out and do uh, recognition on that, it would be great. Yeah, and I'm just walking to the back alley So, Joan, I want to recant and say, you, yeah, you, it's very possible you are right. Since we didn't actually see her walk into the building, um, it probably isn't exigent circumstances. And part of what I'm walking off because I'm a nervous fellow right now, right? I was just assaulted by a member of the Church of Scientology.
Uh, sorry, I don't have the gimbal. Yeah, Joan, part of this is, is going to be true here. Now, the one thing I will say is that I'm also going to show them the video evidence of the church member trying to help the person flee. Right, so we had a staff member, and we did see the staff member go back in. Uh, and I'm going to say he's an accomplice after the fact, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and I'm I'm hopeful as well, Joan. Hey, Wendy City. Yep. Is there, can you pay the, the city to put a memorial stone or something down like they do in Clearwater for raising the prayer thing? No, no, that was actually um, a brick that was put in that park because it was the foundation. So no, I, and I don't know if yeah, I don't know if you do that. Can, can you pay for any, can anybody pay for Not that I'm aware of. And the, the other one is you can't what you can do is um, you can pay for Memorial Street. So just like they have L. Ron Hubbard Way, although they actually I think they actually really changed the name of it. But if you go around the city, you'll see these brown signs and the street name has a legal name, but it might be also um, Monsignor Robinson Way or. So it would be interesting to make this. So we can pay to, to, to put a, yeah. a plaque up there. You've got a car trying to back up. So you could pay for like called Way or. Yeah. Or, um, Zenu Central. Oh, yeah. Yes. So that'd be an interesting idea. Rename, sorry, not rename, but put another name known up for uh, South Park Street in Chicago to be. What I think is a shame is that the officer expressly told me not to do what this person did to me. So, and, and again, this is a place where he tripped himself out by cop explaining because. I had never done that, and I never have done that. I've never been rude and put a camera up in somebody's face, right? Um, you can look at, what, we've probably got 500 hours of video at this point in time. That's never happened. Well, precisely what that officer told me you couldn't do occurred to me. So if anybody on the police force is not going to come back and say that, yep, that was a crime, then they're just corrupt, period. Uh, they're corrupt regardless, but. For anybody keeping track, I've been live for four hours and 14 minutes, so in a little bit, it'll be four hours and 20 minutes. <laughs> How are you doing? You know, it's a cult, right? Yeah. By the way, one of their members just assaulted me. One of their members just came out here and assaulted me. Just be careful, that's all. So they seemed to know it was a cult. They had the look on their face. Jay, uh, I have a battery that looks just like this in my pouch. Let me, I'll, I'll take it off real quick. I probably already have a mic on the corner, but on the train there are corners that I usually find, like, I just feel like being by myself, so I'm going to go back. It's, I think it's all the way at the bottom right here. If I put my pouch, so it looks just like this. Cool. Um, do it, paper, and hold that. I'm gonna take that out. Take that out. Take it back in there. Sorry, I'm just putting my other battery in because I've got. To, I'm low on that first battery. It's like an hour. I know they don't. They don't come out. Maybe I should call them again. Be like, hey, do you like? Do you want to I mean, Tate and Tom got about right quick. Assault is not one of the
Uh, I'm gonna walk across the street uh, just to get in the sun. There's a helicopter going over the top of us. And I'm not yet to the point where I have PTSD that I worry about uh, that kind of swatting, but. So we're now uh, across the street from where, kind of in front of the inference, uh, there's right the, we're sitting on a, a little banister that is kind of between first draft and the inference apartments. So we're coming up on 45 minutes. Certainly a salt here. Sorry, I'm actually talking to myself a little bit, but uh, I, an assault took place and there are no police here yet. Person in the window. So Chadwick is upstairs in the meeting room. The person in the window is the other person that was on the phone. So they're all on the phone with the police right now, right? They're trying to get their story together. Uh, so I don't know if you can see through there, but you got Chadwick. Let's change it over here real quick. So you've got Chadwick talking to the other body router that was out this morning in the back on the left-hand side, like just above the seat. Huh. Look at that second floor line tech.
I have a great deal of power, right? I'm able to uh, enforce blind tech from across the street on the second floor. Uh, I'm gonna put in a bunch of FOIA requests because I'm sure that they are in communication with the police. Uh, remember, one of the things that they do when they bring the police inside, hey, can I get your personal cell number and that way I can just call you uh, if I need to. Um, so that's a way that they can keep me out of public sites. Pretty sure it was 528, or I'm sorry, uh, it was 228 when the incident occurred. The call was made shortly after that. Uh, you would have seen that, right, I took my, uh, I put the video in the background and immediately called the police. We have made three police calls at this point. Yeah, no, sorry, there were a couple of different incidents. Um, there have been incidents where somebody has come out of La Poubelle, they've committed an assault, they went back into La Poubelle, and when the police went in, they were unable to find them. And then there was a different situation, right, where uh, the person took um, Jess's sign, uh, and I can't remember if there was an assault in that situation as well, but it was at least theft, uh, and they went into the org, right? And, and so there have been a couple of different situations. And in La Poubelle, the police had every right to go in because extreme circumstances had eyewitnesses seeing somebody go in the, um, in the building. But the police went in and were unable to find, um, the police went in and were unable to find the perpetrator or the suspect. I'm going to walk up the street here in the sun. Uh, I've got a sweatshirt that I'll put on in a second. And again, if anybody's monitoring the other channels, uh, when the police come, just let me know. If you watch the earlier video, um, I would have to guess it was uh, it was near noon because George had just arrived. And once George arrived, there was, we had a little bit of chit chat, and then I saw two uh, body routers leave the organization, and they had stacks of papers that were um, drugs related. It was the front group um, drug free, and it's not called Drug Free America. They have uh, front group. Um, that uh, the address on this was uh, in California. Uh, if, uh, you'll see the, the front and the back of the flyer uh, on the channel. I want to see if they're trying to get the person out the back of the org. And again, I'm kind of burning nervous energy where we've now been uh, in six minutes, it'll be an hour.
there's somebody at the front of the alley. Uh, it's in jeans and a light top with, a, I'll say, a bucket hat. So I don't think that's uh, anybody from the org. Yeah, I'm sure that they found, so she was playing a recording of what the, um, what, yeah, we still haven't seen the police. Um, sorry, um, she had, uh, in English, she was able to play for me what the law was. That's what she was trying to foist upon me. Um, and what I was, when I told her when she wanted me to Google Translate, as I said, you have no expectation of privacy in public. That is covered under the First Amendment, and that is that is not something you can go against here in America. And I gave her I gave her 20 feet of space, so at no point was I anywhere near her and made any threatening gestures. I waved at her several times. The shock is a really serious offense that they have to come out and deal with right away. Yeah. But assault, as long as you're a protester, it's not a big deal. Absolutely correct. As long as you are speaking out against the child trafficking, human trafficking, destructive cult, you have no rights. But the cult has all the rights in the world. I need a hand please. Can you hold that for a second? Oops, um, my hand didn't work. That's right. Sai says their math ain't mathing. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Pizza goes. Assault or chalk is a felony. Assault is an infraction. Good to know in Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> and we saw cops drive by. Twice. The claim was they were on a different uh, call. So there was an awful lot of free uh, free police available when we had to inspect the chalk. No, no. And I made a terrible mistake when I did that. I spoke to your officer and was speaking into my chat. Oh. They had already doxed me earlier today. I was walking away because I heard what you were saying. So I was like, oh, She 100% was. So she was the, the person in the, the black 
jacket this morning. Uh, and again, if you want to look at that video, you'll notice that I consistently maintain a respectful distance. Uh, now, there were times that they would double back and I would let them walk past me. The woman in pink followed me for a while at the same distance that I followed uh, anybody else. Oh, you're stuck. So, by the way, Chadwick and everybody was upstairs, oh, were they? and they were kind of strategizing, and they were on the phone. They saw that I was watching them. And they closed it. I forced, wondering. I forced blind tech on the yes. second floor from across so the street. They're, yeah. they're trying to make a worst case for yep. us before the cops would come. Correct. Yeah. And the cops are probably letting them sit there and figure yeah, it out. Yep. You guys figure out what you're going to say. And then as soon as we say something, you're going to go in there and take the Correct, 100%. Yeah. Yep. I, Until we say we're that we're all in on the entire church, just come. Right. Yeah, they should be able to go in there and come and extract it. Here's, here's what's going to happen. Here's what's going to happen. Because she walked in that building, yeah. that we have evidence of. Right. We have no evidence that she's in this building. Well, she came out of that building. Understood. Now, the one thing is, we do know the other man did go in here. The person that was the accessory to the crime that tried to get her to flee. Yeah, why did he come? Yep. Have a good one. Okay. Yeah, we can tell here when you see the same box. I might go try and find some food. Yeah, I need some food too. Okay. But uh, I no idea how long this is going to take, but I'm not going to let it. Yeah. Well, no, I'm going to let it take my whole day. I'm not going to let it go. Right? I don't care how long I have to wait. They press charges on the most meaningless thing, and this person actually committed a crime. Yeah. Two crimes. Because, again, helping somebody flee from the scene of a crime is a crime in itself. The the man that I've helped her. Video evidence of that too, so feel free to download my video and use it. Yep. Or flip it or any new thing. If you want, I'll download it and send it to you. Cool. Uh, I have nervous energy, so I'm gonna walk back to the sure. area again. Yeah. Hey folks, I'm sorry I've been kind of quiet here. Uh, trying to burn some nervous energy, waiting for the police to show up. Um, not sure, right? Do I go to the first precinct, but or first district, and file a complaint there? I really do want to harangue the officers for the idea that they were here so quickly and they had plenty of time to send six officers here for talk. And the tape, right? They were able to get here very quickly with the tape. They were able to get here very quickly with the tape. 
Yeah, and I don't know if you can tell on the clip, but I absolutely took steps backward and she took steps forward. So I wanted to disengage from the conversation. She chose not to. She thought it was very important that she put her phone in my face, precisely the statement that the officer said. The officer said I had every right to defend myself at that point in time. So I could have actually been physical and I would have been fully within my rights. I took my truck out in yeah. Assault. Yes. I bet you that would get him out here in a half a second. Agreed. Like, oh, you'll come out for the truck, but you won't come out for assault. Really? I just walked around and said, hey, just drop in You have a favor. Can you grab me a water from the groceries, from the I got outside, cop pack, right assault on the, on yes. the, on the sidewalk with the yeah. truck. I mean, I would you come out if I wrote right the Yeah, assault on the sidewalk. Thank you. I do have that. I, I oh, have you that. have the never in okay. Oh, wait, you have a new, is that a second email or a new email? That's, I, I actually created a stream so I could be in everybody's chat. Nice. Because I didn't like the other name. So I'm not streaming, but I'm in there. Uh, pink lavender top, a lavender top. I don't want to be on the phone again. I don't want to. So I, I made a mistake earlier. So a pink lavender top.
What's the claim now? What's the claim? So because I called, they know that they should still come and that you're still on site. And what are they just no waiting to leave? No. What do you want to find if we go there? Do you have a blood time? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ping, ping, ping. Can you guys hear now? Sorry, Erica. Can you hear now? Thank you, Twyla. Thanks, Erica. Uh, can we can we call non-emergency lines saying, hey? Why aren't we, why aren't the police out there when an assault took place? It's a Sunday, so I'm sure that we can't call. Oh, is this the other chat coming up the street? Yeah, I think this is the other chat coming up the street. 
or is that Joe? I appreciate everybody hanging in there. I know it's kind of a boring chat right now. Uh, it's infuriating and frustrating, right? The idea that we know that Scientology picks up the phone, the lap dogs are right here. Uh, Scientology's on the other end of the crime. Papa, you're awesome. Yeah. So they were here for papers on the ground. Yeah. Uh, so we're now at an hour and 20 minutes uh, and still no police. One of their citizens was assaulted. You know what this is? He said he was going to send a picture of Tom Cruise. Yeah, I don't know which one that is, but yes, I agree that it was uh, Sakala. All hands on deck, right? Uh, sorry, you guys are hearing me talk to myself again. <laughs> I want to ask the officers when they arrive. I want to know as a taxpaying citizen who was assaulted, why it took more than an hour and a half to get here. And if I was to write chalk on here, you'd be here in a heartbeat. So express to me how you're not in the pockets of this cult. And I understand that's not the right way to open with that conversation. The, the right way to open is I was assaulted. I want to press charges. The woman went into Paisans. The person who helped her escape went into the church. I feel like this is Windy City Raw with I don't have my gimbal and I've got you guys jumping all over the place. Uh, not sure if the iPhone is helping stabilize this at all, but uh, 
not seeing any activity out here. For those of you just joining in, um, we've had a lot of contact with the police today that within, what, 15, 20 minutes of me arriving and having put chalk on the ground, the police came out. Uh, it was uh, one supervisor and two officers. The officer said, yeah, you're not doing anything wrong, first minute right. But then he cops plane to me. And in his cops plane, he said, hey, you can't follow people around. And he said, I don't know if you have or not, but you know, we had an incident here yesterday. You can't follow people around and put a phone in their face. I've never done that. And then I reminded him of the DOA work, right? DOA saying, hey, don't eat yellow snow, right? And, and I added one that, and you're not supposed to pick your nose in public, right? You might not supposed to do that in a private, but definitely don't do it in public. And he, he walked away, right? Um, then he came back and said, we've changed our mind. We think that uh, the word mark says that you can't put anything on a public sidewalk. And so we stopped putting chalk down. Then they put body routers out, uh, as has been my practice for quite some time. I will allow the body routers to exercise their First Amendment right, and I will exercise my First Amendment right. Oh, oh, your, your flowers. Oh, sorry. Your flowers just fell over. We need more water. <laughs> we need more water. It's okay. Oh, thank you. Don't die. <laughs> yeah, you're already dead. Sorry. <laughs> Um, just a reminder of why we're out here, right? Okay. Sounds good. She's got my straight. All right. Okay. Thank you. Uh, then later on, we taped something on the sidewalk within five minutes because we taped it down. Uh, a person walked around the co corner to the alley, and by the time she got back to up front, the police were already here again. So uh, I have every expectation that Scientology is on the phone with the police uh, saying, delay, 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 right? I just have no desire to let this drop. We know that they're incredibly petty and they they charged somebody who didn't commit a crime uh, last week. And at this point, we have every evidence that two crimes were committed. The first crime being that a person uh, assaulted me, uh, stalked me, put their face, their phone in my face. Uh, I backed away. They put their phone in my face again, stepping forward to do so, which is precisely what we've been warned not to do. into uh, my backpack again, see if I can bring the gimbal and the battery out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm gonna say chalk is allowed, but what they did is they came back and they said, you can't mark a public surface. And again, depending on what your interpretation of the word mark is, um, they say, yeah, you can't do that, right? They twice before have said, yeah, there's no problem. It's marked. It, uh, it's chalk, so it's not graffiti. And none of the information approached um, hate speech. So that was uh, fully allowable. 
um, in that space. I am probably not until I get a better understanding of what the word mark means. And again, I, I don't want, I don't think it's valuable uh, for me to be in a jail cell, uh, even though I'm going to beat it in court uh, on that particular situation. Sorry, I'm gonna see if I can get the gimbal back on. Oh, that wasn't even close. Oh, there we go. Uh, let me see. Now, if I get better clarification on what mark means and we get better consensus, yeah, I probably will go back to chalking. Um, it's a low cost, low tech process. Sorry, I'm kind of fiddling with everything, plugging stuff back in again. Uh, let me see what my battery is at right now. Yeah, we're up to almost full charge, so I'll see if I can find. Uh, one second, I'm going to try to change mics real quick. Okay, um, let me also then change this. Okay, hopefully you're able to hear me again. So if I can get a sound check, that'd be great. We are now at an hour and 30 minutes, so 90 minutes since the assault. And no police. Now, I will say, we've heard the helicopter a lot, so I'm just waiting for that unreasonable uh, show of force that's, that's going to come this way. Thank you, Dave. Hey, Dave, can you do me a favor? Can you um, make some clips for me? Uh, I think it's at five hours 28. We're going to see uh, a woman approach me. It's the same woman that was out body routing earlier today. She had the long black coat on. Um, at about 528, she comes up to uh, approach me and, and tell me some gibberish about what stalking laws are. I don't think she would understand it, right? She doesn't understand English. So it would have been something that the cult put her up to. Uh, they would have put that on and say, here, go play this in front of them. And when I backed away from her, I said, get away from me or something to that nature. But I backed away from her and she moved forward. And then I said, I feel like I'm under attack. I feel like I'm under threat, something of that nature. Uh, I'm being stalked. Uh, and then I backed up again uh, and she moved forward again. So um, that is precisely what the officer this morning uh, told me, right? Um, and now I wish I could remember his name, but um, McCasco or uh, whatever it was, uh, we'll be able to find that on the video earlier today. Thank you, Erica. One hundred percent. I do believe that the delay here is them helping the police stay delayed. You're here and you're watching all the stuff. OK, I'm going to uh, um, walk. Around. I just have nervous energy right now. Cool. Um, yeah, my expectation is that there's a short story. The, the fun thing was um, Maybe an op.
folks, I know we just lost sound. Hopefully it's back right now. Uh, Eric, I think I've got it back now. I'm plugging in the DJI, <laughs> the DJI mic now. Excellent. Thank you, Thaddeus. Um, sorry, I've got nervous energy. It's been an hour and 30 minutes since I called the police. We have called the police four times at this point. It was an assault and they're not here. This morning, within 15 minutes of chalk hitting the pavement, they were here with three police officers, a supervisor and two police officers. They then came back later on and they revised their understanding of the law and said, if you're marking public property, that's illegal. And by the way, it's only a citation. I'm sorry, it's a, a ticket. It's a fine, not, a, um, not an arrestable offense. They had six officers to try to explain that to us. They then went inside to talk to the officers or to talk to Scientology just to explain them that, hey, we just told them that marking is illegal. And it took them 45 minutes to make that statement. So yes, they were either being uh, um, safe pointed or they were telling an atrocious shore story about what was going on. The cult has claimed that we do have a member in the alley get me, getting a smoke on. I think this is the guy that uh, was the accomplice in trying to help the woman escape once I called the police. <laughs> Thanks, Eric. I appreciate it. I did make the bad mistake. Um, earlier today, I was doxxed. Uh, however, this afternoon, I gave a, an additional piece of information. Uh, don't worry, that number is going to evaporate very quickly. I appreciate that. Thank you, I love cats. Um, something that was fun is uh, to kind of decompress a little bit and, and wait until the police came. I walked across the street and I just sat down. There's, um, you know, there's a knee-high railing over there around the gardens, you know, where the, the, the plots where the trees grow. And I looked up and I could tell that they were all in that conference room up there. So Chadwick was up there. The other woman who was body routing this morning was up there. Um, they were trying to figure out how do we spin this right? And they were probably on the, on the phone with the police at that point in time. <laughs> how about it? Um, but my SP powers were amazing because from across the street, I was able to get them to pull the blinds on the second floor of their organization. The cult made another false claim this morning that I, well, it's not a false claim, it's a non-event claim. Uh, the claim was that uh, I had used a drone and overflew their buildings. That is a perfectly legal thing to do in America. I am a licensed pilot. I have a part 107 license. I can use drones in monetary, monetary endeavors. The police do not control the airspace. Uh, they can do one thing if, uh, if you're standing in a place where it's illegal to be the pilot of a drone, uh, then the police can act. So uh, again, the reminder I'll give you is that the Chicago Park District does not allow drones to be flown on their property. You can overfly the Chicago Park District, but you can't stand on the par uh, Chicago Park District.
Are you okay that one of your members assaulted me earlier? Uh, I can tell that one of my, uh, my other transmitter is kind of running low on juice. So I'm gonna see if I can find that and get it plugged in so I can transfer these out uh, a little bit later. Uh, I'm gonna put you down on the sidewalk real quick. Talk amongst yourselves. Don't say anything bad about me. Um, I am getting my battery charger out for Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm letting my other transmitter charge. They charge pretty fast. Um, if you have DJI, it comes with a battery bank, and that battery bank is a pretty high wattage uh, tool that'll send uh, it'll send the charge into the device fairly quickly. All right, the police have finally arrived. I'm gonna go back to narrow camera. Uh, the car number is 8246. I called for an assault. If you can come and help me, please. Paul, I'm the one, that, the victim in this situation. I appreciate that. So earlier today, and I think you were out here as, as well. No, no, oh, okay. I still started my shift. So, Please, I'll put that on. Nope, no problem. I, I pre sorry, I apologize. Um, so the activity that occurred? What activity occurred? A woman came out of this church, okay. came up to me, and put her camera in my face okay. to, to, re to give me some recording. I don't know what it was. Okay. I backed away. I said, please don't do that. She moved forward, put her camera beyond my camera, okay. which the officer earlier today told oh, me that so that's assault. I've called 90 minutes ago okay. on this process. Okay. Um, the officer on scene already? No, you're the first who, in 90 minutes. You just said an officer was already here, though. Uh, at nine o'clock this morning, okay. we put chalk down. Okay. The officer was here in five minutes. Okay. So it took 90 minutes to come here for an assault. Okay. It took five minutes to get here for chalk. Okay. That seems wrong. Okay. Nonetheless, well, that's a, that's a political I understand. Thing that has nothing to do with yep. it. Yeah. It's, it's kind of a crime thing. Just start. Okay, I understand. Started. I can't respond 90 minutes ago if I didn't start 90 minutes yep. ago. Yep. So the a woman came and put her hand past my camera. I backed away. Thank you. Thank you. I backed away okay. and said, please be quiet. I, I'm, I'm, yeah. So um, that I was told earlier that if I did that to somebody, I would have been arrested for assault. Okay. And if you're going to arrest me for assault, I want her arrested for assault right now. She walked into that building when she knew I was calling the police. Another agent from this cult came out and walked her away. So I also want to know why he was trying to aid in the flight of this person. Are you asking me that or are you telling me that? I want to file a complaint against him as well because he helped aid after the fact in getting this person away from the church. Okay, so all you want right now is a report? No, I want to press charges on the woman. Okay, but if you physically Like, I can't, you know, go find her if she's not here. I can give you a report, which I'm more than welcome to do. I would just need your information and the information of those involved, her description, all that sort. Okay. I can tell you, I, yes, 100%. I will tell you that she walked in that building. Okay. So you have now exigent circumstances. I saw her go in there. Uh, Why is that not exigent circumstances? You can't just walk in and say, yeah, you're the, you're the offender. You need to 
violence. I didn't say you were the offender. I said the person who was fleeing a crime I get you went in there. It. Exactly right. it's, it's done. They fled. You can get, get your report. That's not an issue. You can get your report. Now, what, what, what was the crime you said? She put assault. Her phone. Assault. Assault by her putting her phone on. And then when I backed away and she approached me further, I was under threat. She was trying to stalk me. What? You had your phone as well? Do you believe she thought that maybe you were trying to stalk her? She walked up to me. Question, no, okay. she walked up to me. For what reason do you think? Because she wanted to give me, she wanted to show whatever recording was on her phone yeah. to me. Yeah. Right? I, I'm not in her mind. I will just tell you that the officer you, that was you, here. You, you were standing out here the whole time? I've been here for nine hours. So I, can uh, I don't like you. child trafficking cults. Okay, fair enough. Okay, and then she steps out trying to show you a phone. Uh, she tried to it. play a recording for me. A and I said, I don't know, don't care. You said a recording? A recording, okay. a recording. She tried to play a recording for me. I backed away. Okay. She moved forward and put the phone in my what face, past my camera. She, she can't speak English. So what was she, she, was she, she was just putting a phone? What did she say when she was trying to put a phone? I said, please don't. I then said, I am in fear of my life. Please move. Back the way. Because she moved forward again. She didn't understand your request of that. that no. <laughs> I, nope. You know what I, mean, all right? I hear what you're saying. Uh, no, you're not, not writing this off. I'm pressing, I'm pressing charges. I'm pressing charges, period. I'm pressing charges. Yep. We will. Uh, I'd like to be away from... Some of the other cameras. So, if, if uh, is there any place can we walk I mean, a little bit? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Guys, can you give me a little bit of privacy? Thanks. Yeah, and then there's one right here. Um, can you please give me a little bit of privacy? Thank you. No, no, he's talking about your camera. Right so, there. my understanding oh, my is you, you thought that uh, she was assaulting you. Correct. She didn't you know English. why I thought that? You know why I thought that? She didn't speak English. You didn't understand her. But when you told her something, you expected her to understand you? You see what I'm saying? Well, I would say this. If I back away and you okay. approach me again, whether or not you understand me or not, my backing away is my retreating and saying, get away from me. That's your assumption. Correct? Listen, because you don't, I don't, don't care how you want to spin this. No, I don't I'm, care I'm, how you want to spin this. Not, if I did this, where would I be right now? What does that mean? What you know that I would be in that fucking cop. Right. You guys are so much in their pockets right now. Pockets, pockets. And I'm going to tell you that the reason that I did what I did this afternoon yeah. is because your sergeant or lieutenant was out here this morning and told me if I put my camera in somebody's I'm gonna, face. I'm going to correct you right there. I'm going to have you not do that because a we sergeant, just started. Okay, there you go. Correct a yourself. sergeant we just or lieutenant. Started, so you cannot put words well, you correct our yourself. or, our, <laughs> or okay. our ranks when we just started our tour. We literally mm -hmm. just started the day. I don't know why you keep referencing 90 minutes ago. This is this. this. 9 a.m. You said 90 minutes ago. Right? Yes, 90 okay, minutes well, ago, I made saying. a call. It, it took 90 okay. minutes to get well, out like here? I, like I said, that's a whole different topic that we can talk about when it's another yep. time, another day. That has nothing to do with what we're talking about right now. So what would you like from us? I, I want to report on this person. And I also okay. want to know what we can do about the person I mean, that tried to make... What I can give you is we can try to give you a report for a non-criminal person that occurred. I Why is it non-criminal? How am I going to give you a report for assault if, well, you get what I'm saying? Like If, if I show you telling, video of what she did. What you're also telling my partner is. Show see, me the video. Okay. You can if it, yeah. you show me a video and I, and I, and I see that there's a crime and it's, a, and it's a, a categorized as maybe an assault. All right. Then, yeah, I'll give you a Come a little bit closer now. I have to turn my stream off because I'm going to have to show my, my video. Okay. 